What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fire Let them burn, let them burn it out Sell them to the richest buyer Just as we are about to go live, uh, Eustasios managed to get the Plinko in the middle bucket. Well done. Well done. How's everyone doing today, chat? How are you guys doing? Hopefully you're all feeling good, feeling happy, feeling refreshed. It's uh, it's my first stream of the week. It's also the only stream of the week. Um, so, you know, that's 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 a bit of a thing. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's make it a fun one. Let's... Uh, Let's make it a fun one. All right, chat, let's start the countdown. Let's start the countdown. And here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go, chat. Hey, good evening, everyone. Good evening and good time to all of you. How is everyone doing today? My name is Mr. Delicious. Welcome to the stream on this Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. Hello, hello. We start off with the Dutch... Okay, let me first do my intro, okay? Let me first do my intro before we go and jump into the Dutch word of the day. How about that? <laughs> Mondo, welcome in. Okay, so something is kind of... Uh, something is going on with Twitch because I had some issues going live. Um, I, uh, well, I had some issues while I opened OBS. It couldn't connect to my, my, um, my stream settings thingies, you know, thingamabobs. Um, so that was that. Then I tried to go live and it didn't work the first time, but it didn't work like after a couple of tries, luckily. Uh, well, clearly here we are. So after a couple of tries, it did work. Um, however, I have some issues that, uh, BTTV is not showing up inside of OBS. And the issue that I had recently that prevented me to change my stream title and my my game and stuff like that within the dashboard, I have that again. And I can't use any channel point redeems either. So I still have that uh, that issue apparently um, 
where I can't... I, I, the thing that I had with my browser that I actually created like a new profile for in my browser, that issue is back. So I'm not very happy with that because um, now I'm not sure if that is like something on my end or if that's like something on Twitch's end. Like, I really have no idea. Um, so I guess we'll find out. But but I can't use uh, I can't use channel points, I noticed, because they just don't load. Um, and I can't change my stream title from within Twitch because that also doesn't work on my game. I can't change those either. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we are live though. We are live and we're here. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how things go for the rest of the evening, I guess. But anyway, chat, how are you guys doing? How is everyone doing? Uh, for, for the time being since, you know, while we are still here. <laughs> A few streamers complaining about Hello, Twitch today. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's like... Report show. Tricks recommend in. There's like some issues with uh, Twitch going on at the moment. I have their status page open and they are uh, having a major outage when it comes to uh, video broadcasting. Watching is fine, but broadcasting is the biggest uh, issues. Uh, and purchases. Apparently you can't subscribe or you can't buy things. I don't know what other purchase you would make on Twitch, but um, yeah, that's apparently a thing. You can, so you can't, you, you, you can't you, there's issues with broadcasting and issues with purchasing. I'm keeping this uh, page open just to see if things change but like you know like i said since we are live i think then that's the most important thing once you are live i don't think it's going to change or it's going to do anything to like you know kick you out or something like that um but i and, and like viewing also isn't an issue like so people should be able to watch uh but it's just the biggest issue is like actually going live i guess uh so good i've been so busy for a while uh, i've not been able to hang out but no more nice happy to hear that i'm happy to hear that um yeah so so for me um, for me, um, I'm not doing great today. So this stream is actually, uh, this stream is actually, um, was actually a welcome distraction. I could definitely use a bit of a distraction because this today has not been good. Um, so I was like, yeah, yeah, I was debating whether or not I wanted to go live, um, because of it. Um, but I was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe it's good if I have a bit of a distraction. Otherwise I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel bad the entire day. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to like talk too much about it, but I do want to like, you know, address the thing um, that is bothering me because, you know, I, I, I feel that I should just address that, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I, and especially since I didn't talk about it, I, I don't want to like, I don't want to be one of those people that is like, I wanted to tweet about it as well, but I didn't want to be one of those people that just tweets something like, man, today is so bad. I really hate this day. And then don't talk about, you know, like, and then leave it at that. So people are like, oh, what's going on? What's happening? You know, what's the deal? And then people are going to ask questions and I have to answer them. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do like any vague booking today. Um, but yeah, no, today has not been a good day. Um, Rosie, hello. Welcome on in. So, so uh, again, I'm just gonna address it like right now. I, I don't feel like talking about it too much. Um, but, but the thing is that last week, uh, you guys all know that I've been unemployed for a long time, for like a couple of years already. And then, you know, I, I've tried to find a new job and it's really hard to find something because um, people, you know, like I, I'm trying to get like enrolled in, into like a new um field and that's really hard because you know companies are like you need to have five years of, of experience 10 years of experience you need to have a lifetime of experience you know like and i don't have that so like trying to get into a new field without any experience is very difficult i find because people are like yeah you don't have an experience then we don't want you um so i finally found a company that was like hey listen even though you don't have experience we are very happy to you know maybe talk to you and and maybe we can still do something again so last week i had two conversations with them um, one on, one on Tuesday, uh, and then one on Thursday, like on Tuesday, I had a very, like a first introductory conversation where it was just like, you know, getting to know each other, but it was a great conversation. It really went very well. And then they were like, okay, you know what? We're going to think about this and then we're going to call you back by the end of the week. And then we'll let you know how we feel. They called me back, like literally the next day I got an email and they were like, Hey, listen, we had such a great time. It was such a good conversation. Can you come back in tomorrow? Which was last year's last week on Thursday. Um, so I was like, okay, great, yeah, that sounds good. Let's let's do it. Let's come back in. Uh, Kafkas, hello, how are you? Uh, so I went back into the conversation on Thursday, and again, we had an amazing conversation. It really, like, you know, it wasn't it wasn't just introductory anymore. We really talked about like you know my salary and those kind of things. So it was more like a business, you know, interview thing, kind of kind of like. Uh, and at the end of the conversation, like, and during the conversation as well, they literally said to me can you start next week? They literally said that to me. So I was like, okay, well, even though they didn't downright told me like you have the job, 
asking me if I could start next week to me was a bit of an indicator like, okay, they kind of are very serious about this and they want me for the job because why else would you ask me if I wanted to start next week? Um, now, unfortunately, I couldn't start this week for a variety of reasons that aren't outside of my control. Like it wasn't that I didn't want to, but it's literally that I couldn't. Like it's not that I didn't want to start this week, but I couldn't because of like, you know, some things that I don't want to go into, but like, you know, I couldn't start next week. It was just was not possible for this week. Um, so then on Monday, no, 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 wait, this was actually last week on Friday. On Friday, they called me. When I, tell, I told them that because they were like, okay, you need to think about if you can start next week and then you need to like, you know, come back to us. So I did that on Friday. I was like, okay, listen, I, I thought it over and I contacted some people and unfortunately I cannot start next week. It just is not possible, but I am very happy to start with you guys. So, you know, let's just, you know, let's do it. And then on the phone, they were kind of like, huh, yeah, yeah, we've been thinking about it and we're not quite sure yet. And um, yeah, you know what? We're going to talk about it on Monday. So we'll let you know next week. So like the entire weekend, I was like stressing out. I was like, okay, listen, it was, it felt like it was kind of in the bag. And then now you're kind of crawling back. Um, so then today I got an email from them saying that um, even though they had an amazing conversation with me and they really liked my stuff, uh, they decided to not go forward with it anyway. Um, so that kind of hit me really hard because like I said, it, it felt like it was, um, it was kind of like in the bag and it felt like it was a done deal. Um, and now they're quarter kind of coming back on it and they're like, yeah, you don't have enough experience. And again, I don't want to go into it too much. I don't want to like, you know, talk bad on, on the company or anything like that. Um, but like I was, I was, it, it really hit me pretty hard today that all of a sudden they were like, yeah, we don't want to do it anymore. Um, especially since, like I said, like the conversations went so well and they basically asked me if I could start this week. Um, and then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, you know what? Never mind. We don't want it. We, it's not going to happen anymore anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, it, it, yeah. So, so there's that. That's a bit of an update, I guess. Um, um, and, and yeah, that's been really hitting me uh, pretty hard. So if I'm not my usual happy self, then you guys know what's up. <laughs> um, the thing as well is that, you know, I felt that, you know, like last week, they my my experience wasn't an issue anymore at all. They were like, you know, we get that you're brand new. So we totally get that. We're going to teach you and it's going to be great. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, no, we don't want that. So that was kind of weird to me. Uh, but also it was a company like I could cycle there. It was like literally like 15 minutes from my house where I live and I could bike there when it's not raining, obviously. But, you know, I could bike there. So it was super close. I was very happy with like a company that wanted to give me opportunities I could cycle to um, and like, you know, yeah, it felt really good. And then, yeah, it's not going to happen. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So um, that's why today was not a good day. <laughs> also, then the weather was kind of crappy, so that didn't help as well. So like, you know, it was like a bit of dreary and, and gray and dull. And um, so that didn't help. Um, but, but yeah, so, uh, so that's a bit of an update on my side on things. They don't deserve you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess you're having a mad day because of that. Yeah. Like, like if it was just a conversation and it was just that, then it was like, okay, well too bad. You know, I've had more companies decline my, my job interview. So, I mean, I totally get it, but it, because they sort of kind of told me not like literally like downright like hey you got the job but like that's what they sort of heavily implied that's why I, I really didn't necessarily like it so yeah um just promise me one thing when you feel like you're pushing yourself to keep the stream going just stop and let yourself process your emotions yeah I, yeah thank you I'll, I'll 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 probably um once we're I, i'm guessing once we're in the game it's gonna be fine i just wanted to address it at the start of the stream because like I said, I initially was thinking about canceling the stream, but because I wasn't going to stream on Friday anyway, or I wasn't going to stream on Friday as well. Um, I didn't want to cancel the stream today because I was like, yeah, then I'm not streaming the entire week and I didn't want to do that either. Uh, but then Twitch was having issues. So I was like, OK, well, maybe Twitch is going to cancel the stream for me. But then I could I was able to go live. So that's you know, that's not uh, that's not a thing anymore. But. Um, yeah, I still wanted to address it. Like I said, it, it, I didn't want to talk. I, no, I didn't talk up to it, uh, about it to anyone, like not even very close friends. Well, one, two close friends of mine I did tell, but only like after a few days. Uh, but I didn't, didn't tell anyone else. I didn't even tell like my parents about this because I was like, I don't want to tell them something. I don't want to give them like good news when there's no good news to give just yet. 
I, I was kind of like, I wanted to wait it out until I know for certain that something is going to happen. And then I'm going to tell people like, you know, what's going on. Um, and now I know for certain. So now I guess I can sort of talk about it. <laughs> uh, turned out that Peter already did tell my mother. So like she already knew, but still. Um, so yeah. Um, stupid company that to give you the feeling you can start and then no. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. You'll find something else for now. Here's a hug. Yeah, like for what the thing that I'm having, the thing that is stressing me out the most is that there's not a lot of companies I feel that want to give you like an opportunity if you like don't have, you know, a million years of experience. Uh, but also like, you know, there's only so many companies in my vicinity that I can apply to. And like, you know, my pool of options is not necessarily like infinite. So that's kind of stressing me out really much. But um, well, yeah, um, we're just going to have a fun time and we'll, uh, I'm just going to leave it at that for now, um, because it's it's not really a fun thing to talk about, I guess. But uh, I did want to address it because, like I said, I might be a little bit more, um, you know, not my usual self. So now at least you guys know um, what's up, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, other than that, um, I had a nice week. <laughs> other than that, it was good. Um, but but yeah, I'd hire you in an instant. Well, I mean, if you are if you are okay to offer relocation fees for me to move to, you know, the US. <laughs> and if you offer a good, um, you know, health plan, because that's something that I need if I live in the US and like, you know, a, a pension and apparently I need a 401k. I don't know what that is, but like everyone always wants a 401k. So like, I want that. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks guys. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate the, the sweet words and um, uh, yeah, those, those things. Don't leave Peter for a job in the US. No, no, he, need, he, he needs to come with me, obviously. And the dog needs to come with me as well. Um, yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Like, I'm not going to leave Peter for a job in the US, obviously. No, I wouldn't do that. Unless it's a job at like... Well, yeah, no, 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 not even then. I, I was like, unless it's a job at like, you know, my dream company. But like, you know, I probably still wouldn't do that then. 100% my husband works for the government, so we have nice benefits. Oh, do you have a 401k as well? What is a 401k? I always hear people talk about a 401k. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, Peter would have a great time. All those craft companies nearby, right? Yeah, I'm sure he would love it. I'm sure he would love it. And like, you know, better pricing as well. Um, so yeah, and I would have a good time because I, I like I get all the things that in technology that like only the US and like Canada and Germany and, and countries like that have. Um, but like not in the Netherlands because we're not cool enough. Like I could, I would be able to get like an Apple card and I would be see all my cards spending in my phone and I would be able to use my phone for public transport and those kind of things. A 401k is a retirement plan. Ah, okay. See, see, I definitely won that. I definitely won that. I think that's important. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do have a 401k. He has a retirement and a pension. I didn't, like I said, I don't know what it is, but I always hear people talk about like, yeah, we have a health plan and we have dental and the 401k. I was like, what the hell is a 401k? <laughs> ah, oh, heckies. Okay. Well, anyway, um, anyway, th that's, uh, that's my, uh, that's my update, I guess. Um, um, so, so yeah. Vemrilo, hello, how are you? We're coming in. Um, T -t 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 -t. So yeah. Um, oh wait, Peter needs to come in because he needs to grab something. Um, let me tell him that he's... He was like, yeah, I need to grab something from my nightstand. Is that okay? So I'm like, yeah, sure. You can come in and grab it. Phone to use in public transport is soon available to us. Yeah, but I'm sure it's going to be only Android people first and then it's going to be iPhone people after because that's, that's how it always goes with stuff like that. It's always first um, Android people. Hello. Uh, and, and then after that, it's, um, uh, it's iPhone. You need to wave. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, he needs to grab his, uh, his, his phone cable. <laughs> I had a chill day. We achieved the day work at 1130. And after that, I had a free time until 1500. Nice. We also have an Apple card. It's great, but crazy high interest. Oh, really? I always thought it was uh, it was like pretty good and pretty decent um, interest. That's what they always say. Husband reveal. I mean, he has been he's been on stream before. Like it's it's not as if you know it's it's a face reveal, but 
Um, yeah, you can actually see videos with me and him also on my YouTube channel. Um, in NYC, you can use the Apple Pay to get on the train. Yeah, and listen, if there's any place I would love to live, it's New York City. I know it's crazy expensive, um, but like if I would be if 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 I would be able to afford it, I would so move to um, I would so move to and to New York City like in a heartbeat without even thinking about it. I would move there. Um, but like, you know, the housing prices and stuff like that. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I even had your hubby on stream four years ago. I think I remember that. Yeah, it's been a while, but I think I remember that you guys did something together uh, on your stream. Yeah, I think I, I think I remember. Um, so the Apple card is like 23% and my credit card for my credit union is like 12. Wow. I don't have interest. Like, I don't have interest on my credit card because I just pay it back every month. Um, so like everything that I spend, they just hold it. They just get it back from my debit account every single month. So I don't pay any interest, which is great. I just use, I only use my credit card for things like that I buy online because, you know, when I when I can't use like, you know, Ideal or PayPal or something like that, that's when I use my credit card. Um, but there's no interest on it because it's it's not, it doesn't work the same as in the US, I guess. So that's great. Um, oh my, oh my god, New York would be fun to live, but like so expensive, right? Yeah, like I would live in New York in a heartbeat. I even made a video about that. Like a couple of years ago, there was a, um, a New York real estate agent that did like a um, sort of like a contest, or if you will, where you could win a year of living in New York City, like all expenses paid. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to participate in that, even though the chances of me winning are like basically zero. Uh, but I wanted to participate in that, so I made a video uh, on that, on like my love for New York City. Uh, obviously, I didn't win because I didn't move to New York City for a year. Uh, but it was still fun to make that video, and 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 yeah, I would absolutely love that. That was the official start for me. Wait, when Peter joined you? Oh, that's so funny! I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Like I said, I didn't know that he he joined you on a stream at one point. Uh, but I didn't know that was like your official start. Um, I love to live in Washington, D.C. I don't know. I've been to Washington, like, obviously only to, like, you know, the, the touristy sections, I guess. So I haven't been to, like, you know, where people live, I guess. But I don't know. It doesn't seem like a city that I would like to live in. But of course, that's to each their own. Like, you know, I mean, I'm a, I'm in love with New York City. And some people are like, oh, New York is overrated. Blech, you know. Um. So, yeah. You only pay interest if you use a spread, spread payment. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I mean, that's, uh, that's like the way to do it, but sometimes you have to buy new brakes or something and it's like $800 or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we, on our bank account, we can't do like overcharges or like if our money, if our bank account is empty, we can't spend any more money because we don't want to, we don't want to be like, oh yeah, we can spend money. Let's spend the money because apparently we still have money. And then at the end of the month, it's like, oh crap, we, we went over in like, you know, like 2000 bucks. Uh, so, so yeah, we, we, we don't do that. I was too chicken to be on my own, so we started together. That's kind of nice, though, and that's very sweet. DC would not be great to live in. Yeah, I mean, you have a, a lot of amazing buildings, but, 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 yeah, I don't know. I heard you. <laughs> I didn't so find something. I didn't hear what Jordy said properly, but what he said. Yuck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know what I said anymore either, but I I, I did I did remember saying yuck. So now 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 there there we go. I still low key want to move to the Bay Area, but uh, money, kids, health insurance. Yeah yeah exactly. Kind of same, kind of the same. Like I would totally like I said, if someone would offer me something in New York City, I would move there in a heartbeat. But only if I was able to, like if they if they would give me like you know money to live there and also proper health insurance because without that, I'm not moving to the US because you know. I'm very happy with our health plan that we have in the in, in 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 here in the Netherlands. Where, if I ever get something, like if I ever need to go to the hospital, like literally the last thing that I would worry about is who's gonna pay for this, because um, I know that my health insurance will pay for that. No no questions asked. <laughs> like I know that at the end of my hospital visit, it's not gonna be like, well, here's your bill. It's gonna be five hundred million thousand dollars. Something like that, you know, I'm going to be like, oh, crap. Well, that's going to not be I'm not going to be able to afford that for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. I'd love to move to Western or Central Europe. Wait, Western. Oh, yeah, that's that's where I live. 
I just have to do like a like a where's west in my brain or not always in my brain. Sometimes I, I physically do it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, Chad, we had an amazing weekend last weekend with the uh, Twitch Leather Pride streams. Thanks, everyone, so much for stopping by uh, on, on one of the three or maybe all three streams uh, last weekend. It was so much fun. Uh, it was very um, it was very busy, though, doing like um, uh, my leg fall off. Hopefully uh, it grows back so I don't have to pay the hospital. Yeah, like, see, that's I always watch. I always watch um, like, you know, these TV shows in, in, in the US. Oh, in the US, like these these American TV shows, like you know, like Chicago Fire and Chicago Med and Chicago PD, like that's a show that I really like to watch with Peter. And I always like whenever they rescue people in those series, I'm always like, oh man, those people must be so worried that they're gonna have to pay all these hospital bills. They're always like, oh yeah, we're gonna bring you to the hospital and they're gonna take good care of you. I'm I'm like, yeah, but do they want that? What if they don't want to go to the hospital and don't they don't don't have the money for that? Don't just take them to the hospital, even though they are dying. Just ask them if they want to do that first. But of course, on TV they never do that. But that's like I can't help but think about that all the time. <laughs> Um, I was lurking, but not very talkative. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Um, like, like, like I said, I, I really appreciated everyone stopping by on on the weekend. I really had a great time. Uh, it was a lot of fun, you know, playing games with uh, with friends on 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 Saturday and and Friday. Um, and and then playing some games solo on Sunday was also a lot of fun. I at least I enjoyed myself. Um, and like you know, being able to gear up for the entire weekend as well was uh, was a lot of fun. So thanks everyone for stopping by and for um, you know supporting the, uh, the the movement and and for allowing us to um, create visibility for our communities and for you know who we are and just have a great time and and you know not be worried about. Um, people's thoughts, pe what people might think, and those kind of things. Because even though I'm always a little bit worried about that, I noticed that I wasn't too much worried about it over the weekend, which was great. You know, I was able to stream in gear and, and have a good time uh, and not, you know, worry about, you know, if people would come in and think it's weird or um, anything like that. So that was good. I, I, I enjoyed that. Um, I did notice that it was, you know, like three days in a row was a bit much. Well, not necessarily a bit much, but like, you know, on Monday, I was kind of like, okay, it's nice if I can just take a night off from streaming without having to, you know, like be live and, and be active and stuff like that. Uh, so it was nice to be able to just have a night off on, on Monday. Um, um, so yeah, that was fun. I, I can't wait. The next one is going to be, I believe, in February. The next Twitch Leather Pride weekend is going to be in February sometime, sometime in February. So um, yeah, very excited to be participating again if I have the time, of course. But, you know, if I have, then definitely I will be participating in that again uh, next year. So yeah, um, literally the struggle of being American. My arm is broken and I'm bleeding out. But can I? I can't pay the hospital, so maybe just try to sleep it off. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly, Minty. Hello, hello. How are you? How are you? Um, I also wanted to say something else, but I, I don't know what it was anymore. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pretend that that I didn't want to say anything else. Um, so, so, you know, there's that. So yeah, I'm having a bit of issues with Twitch at the moment, other than like the going live things. Um, I'm not sure if this is just me. I feel that it is because last week I asked someone else if they had the same issue and they said no. So I was like, okay, well, that's not good. Um, but I, I, I'm having like this issue where I can't change. Like, look, look at this, look at this chat. This is my stream title. This is my stream thingy. If I want to change it, like test, and I'm going to update that. It says stream info failed to update and go live notifications failed to update. I had this exact same issue last week when I logged out of my Twitch and couldn't log back in again. I had the exact same issue. I have no idea why this is why this is happening. Um, but if anyone else is having the same issue, please do let me know, because then it's not just me. But I'm feeling it might be my browser because then I went into Chrome and everything just worked just fine. Um, but like in this browser, when I try to update my stream title, I just I just can't. I can't update things because it keeps giving me the error. And like I said, I can't use any um I can't use any channel point redeems anymore either. Like when I try to redeem channel points on another server, it doesn't work. Wait, let me try if I can do it on my own. No, I can't redeem any channel points for myself either. Like it just keeps on spinning and spinning and spinning and nothing works. Um So yeah, I don't know. Can I do it in OBS though? Yeah, so I can do it in OBS. I just can't do it within my browser, which is super weird. Um, so yeah. 
Nope, it's not juice. You, a friend of mine, had to try four times to go on. Yeah, yeah, those issues I, I'm very much aware of. Yeah, those issues um, I'm aware of right now. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like those browser issues are just very weird. Weaves that don't work because of a silly browser. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck, exactly. Exactly. Um, try clearing the cache and cookies. I actually did that. I actually did. I, I, I got a brand new profile on my browser. Um, like completely new. All the cookies are gone. Everything is gone. And I still, and it worked for a couple of days. And now it's back to not working anymore. So that's kind of annoying. You can update the stream info in OBS. Yeah, I know that as well. I know that as well. But I always use my dashboard. And like I said, I can't use channel points redeemed either. So um it's not just it's not just that but it's it's like a couple of things so but i know i can do it in obs but i always just use my like my dashboard is like where i that's something i always have open on when i go live because that's where i have my activity feed and i have my chat and like i have all of those things and i can do like my my ads and my rates i start from there so i always do everything within the dashboard uh plus i can't do it in obs right now because of the issues in uh with twitch i can't load any um, stream info stuff because there's issues with Twitch at the moment. Uh, Alpaca, how are you? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Um, the way Twitch works, you can't use your own channel point redeems on share in your own channel. I can use my own channel point redeems though. I always use them all the time. I can definitely use my own channel point redeems, but just not in my browser right now. Um, but normally I can always use my own channel point redeems. They always work. Look, I can even highlight my own mes message. Well, at least I should be able to, but now, it's, you know, my chat is being an ass. Or do the achievement. Wait, no. Are they broken now? Now they're broken here as well. Oh, wait, maybe not. Hang on. Yeah, see, see, I, I did that. I did that. So some of them are working. Some of them are not working, it seems. That's kind of weird. Um, Maybe the presence on the Twitch is messing with things again. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I can use my dashboard to update the stream title in Chrome. Yeah, in Chrome it also works, but like in I'm using Brave, which is based on Chrome, I guess, and it doesn't work in there. So I don't know. I don't know. Something is, is something wrong with my um with my face chat. <laughs> Talking about channel point redeems, time for a Dutch word. Oh yeah, yeah, I totally forgot about the Dutch word. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you redeem that at the start of the stream, and I want to say hi first. That's what happens. I totally forget about it. Uh, yeah, let's do a Dutch word. I hope it's gonna work. Let's see. Drum roll. The Dutch word of today is gonna be to brush or borstelen. Um, yeah, to brush or borstelen. Um, how do we put this in a sentence? Does anyone have a good sentence with, with to brush? Rosie so cozy needs to brush her hair. Okay, okay, yeah, we can, we can do, I, I don't know if that's true, but I guess that, that could be a sentence that we need, that we have right there. Uh, so Rosie so cozy needs to brush her hair, which translates to, uh, Rosie so cozy moet haar haar borstelen. <laughs> Um, so, so, so there you go. <laughs> someone, let's just leave it at someone. Someone, iemand, moet zijn haar borstelen. Zijn of haar haar borstelen. Um, I guess. So there you go. <laughs> to brush or borstelen in Dutch. Um, that's your Dutch word of the day. Thank you so much for that, Redeem. Let's go back here. <laughs> Listen, I didn't want to call you out, okay? It, it was, it was, I just, I just read what chat says. I didn't want to call anyone out. <laughs> And I'm sure your hair looks lovely without, and I'm sure you've brushed it today or, or not. I don't know, um, but I'm sure, it, I'm sure it looks lovely. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's time to brush the puppy. We actually did that the other day because he was very uh, scruffy. So we, we, we brushed him and now he's very nice and fluffy again. So yeah. Also, Jordy, uh, puppy hugs and snuggles. Love you. Love you back, Minty. Um... So yeah, so we're gonna continue today with um, with whatever land, um, and like I said, this is only the only, this is also the only stream of this week because uh, on Friday I'm gonna meet up with a friend, so we're not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to go live because well I mean I'm gonna hang out with someone so I don't want to go live, 
Um, so yeah. I didn't know it was true. Wait, what if what was true? That this was my only stream of the week? Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and play Whatever Land again, because I really enjoyed it last week. We we started with that last week, uh, and it was actually kind of fun. So I wanted to continue with that um again today. Um so uh yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. I can't let's see if I can I, I can't change the title of my game though, so I'm just gonna do uh this um and do it like that because i can't do it any other way for some reason i didn't know rosie really had to brush her hair oh <laughs> yeah yeah of course you didn't <laughs> all right statement about the the statement about me having to brush my hair that was actually true <laughs> does a friend not want to join the stream i mean I'm not sure if I want, uh, like, it's not that I don't want them on stream, but I, you know, I just want to have a nice night off. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> I just want to have a nice night off. Um, all right, let's go play some games. Actually, I'm already kind of happy that I went live today because, like I said, I really felt very bad today and I really, it wasn't a good day, but... I don't know, just hanging out with you guys and chilling and vibing and like having a good time and laughing it off and stuff like that. Um, really is very nice. I really, I'm really enjoying myself. So thank you for that. All right, let's see, continue. The downside is that I don't really know where we had to go, but I think we had one, two, three, four pieces of the, uh, the spell already. So that's good. Um, we do have a couple of ones that we have to go to, though. Let's see. Oh, uh, we have the ramen shop where we can still get a piece of the spell. We have the casino that we can still get a piece of the spell. And I'm sure we can get it at some other place as well, but we can't see the locations of those just yet. So I'm thinking we're going to go to the ramen shop first. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like going to the ramen shop. So let's go there first. I'll try to distract you a little bit from the daily travel pub. I can appreciate that, Cossack. Thank you so much. I mean, that's always what I tried to do for you guys, but it's nice that you guys can do the same for me, I guess. Also, oh wait, I did have some other good news that I wanted to share, though. Um, you guys remember that I ordered a, a puppy collar, like a long, like many months ago. Uh, I ordered a pink puppy collar to go with, like, you know, my harness and my my pup hood and, and, and those things, because it's the same, it's the same pink. Um, I contacted the store... If, uh, like, you know, two weeks ago or a couple of weeks ago, I contacted them again with like, hey, do you guys have any updates? Because, it's lit it, you know, at that time, it literally has been like two months since I've heard back from them. Uh, so they said like, yeah, no, we still don't have an update, but you know what? We're going to order another one and then hopefully that's going to come in sooner than, um, you know, that's actually going to come in because, you know, the other one never came. Uh, so they did that. And then the other day I got an email, like two days ago, I got an email saying that it finally came in. Uh, and they're going to send it to me. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to come in tomorrow. Uh, but it might be on Friday. Um, but yeah, very excited to finally get that. Custom one. No, it's a regular one. It's just a pink one because it matches with my with my pup hood. So um, it's just like a pink one from Mr. S. Um, so yeah, but I'm still very excited. I, I already got like the name tag for to attach to it. I had that for a while now, so... Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm definitely going to wear that next time I'm going to do a, a Papu Friday stream, uh, which I'm not sure when that's going to be. But the next time uh, I'm definitely going to I'm definitely going to wear it. So I just wanted to say that as well, that I'm very happy that finally um, it's going to come in. That he has anger management issues. <laughs> the woman at the bar drinks a lot of beer. Yeah, this is like what her fourth beer now. After one in lime, it's more of a show collar, though. What do you mean? Like it's more of a show collar, like you can't really tug on it. It does look. I don't know, like it does look sturdy enough that you can actually tug on it, but... Oh, what? What? I want to challenge you. No, I don't actually. Never mind. Goodbye. Goodbye. Too stretchy to tug. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not necessarily intending to tug on it, I guess. It's it's also like, indeed, for me, it's more of a show collar as well. Um. So, yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe at some point, you know, when I play at home with Peter or something, I want to, you know, I want to get like a leash so he can like, you know, leash... It, uh, leash it up as well and I can you know be on a leash but also more for like a show thing more than like anything else um and like you know when we're playing at home for instance 
Um, so yeah. Hello. Hey. Do I know you? You look familiar. You look familiar. Familiar how? Familiar how? You have the exact same nose as my neighbor Quentin. It was very strange. He used to talk about some moving pictures all the time. He was a little crazy, you see. Probably a drunk, but at least not the raging kind. More of a choir. Well, choir. I look like a lunatic was also. It's comfy though. Nice. That's Isn't actually that important. Great? Well, at least he was a handsome lunatic. Actually, that does make it better. Yes. <laughs> that does make it better. Yes. What do you want from me? I'm looking for the spell that summons Beatrice. I heard you had a piece of it. What can you recommend on the menu? What can you recommend on the menu? Nothing. Really? There are at least a dozen empty plates in front of you. Good to know you're not blind. Still, the food here is horrible. I haven't had a decent ramen in more than a century. Okay. I have a couple of things I want to grab for like public going out pub things because I want my custom pub to stay safe. Yeah, that's totally valid. That's totally valid. A lot of pub stuff is always sold out over here. New stuff comes in and two days later everything is sold out again. Yeah, I also heard that Mr. S was having a couple of issues with um, like neoprene supplies, I want to say. So maybe that also had something to do with it, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, Are you serious? You're suffering from a lack of good ramen. You think I'm insane? Surely it's easy to mock an old helpless lady. Let's see you after a few decades in this hellhole. Yeah. I'm looking for the spell that summons Beatrice. I heard you had a piece of it. You heard right, but I'm not a charity. Okay. Why does everyone want something from me? Perhaps that's something I can do for you. If you don't give the piece to me, I can always steal it. Perhaps there's something I can do for you. Sure. A foot massage would be nice. Oh. I haven't taken these shoes off in a while. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Suit yourself. I mean, you know, if it was like a, a hot guy, then maybe. But like, you know, yeah, I'm going to pass on that for now. If I cook you the perfect ramen, would you give me a piece of your spell? If I cook you the perfect ramen, will you give me your piece of the spell? If you do that, I'll even give you a kiss. Uh... Relax. I'm just kidding. But you should have seen your face. You should have seen your face. At least half as good as the one I had back then. The spell is yours. I don't even know why I kept it all these years. Probably to piss off Ernest. What about Ernest? He Wait, who is Ernest? After me. Do we know I Ernest? Give him my piece of the spell. So, why didn't you? Because Ernest can go screw himself. <laughs> I hate that guy. Thinks he's the boss of this dump. Yeah, right. But how did you get rid of his men? I bit off one of the guy's finger and threatened that next time I'd be aiming for other body parts if you get what I'm saying. I think I, I think get what I I'm do. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I get now, what she means. Hurry up and treat a lady to some real good ramen. Okay, but where am I going to get some ramen, though? Whatever. Whatever. I just checked the store where I order my stuff. They have every color but pink. Wow. Hey, this is my kitchen. Okay. Welcome to Uzu Ramen. What can I get you? What can I get you? What's Uzu Ramen's... What's what's Umaru-san's problem with your ramen? I'd love some ramen, please. Do you know that woman wearing a mask? Do you know that woman wearing a mask? Do you mean Umaru-san? Umaru-san. I wish I didn't. But she comes here every day. I've never heard a single good word from her about my food. And yet, she keeps ordering. What's Umaru-san's problem with your... Uh... Ramen. That woman is insufferable. She wants special ramen made with gold and tuna. I'm not sure it even exists here in whatever land. But with gold and tuna, I never make it for her. Why not? Because who puts tuna in ramen, even if it's golden? Actually, I'd try that. Of course you would. Feel free to use my kitchen if you decide to make that weird tuna ramen for her. The recipe should be near the stove. Oh, and don't put any kind of alcohol in it, or she'll pass out. Got ah. it. Thanks for the help. I'm just curious to see what's going to happen. 
Okay, so that's good to know, because if we can't get the golden tuna, we can always put some alcohol in it and she's going to pass out and then we can just steal the recipe, which I don't want to do, but we can totally do that if we can't find another way. Do you have any idea where I can find that special golden tuna? Try asking Santiago at the market. He is the local fisherman. So if Santiago. anyone can help you, it's him. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Be careful out there. I kind of like this guy. I don't know what his name is. Ichi... Ichiraku. I kind of like his character. He's kind of funny. Um, all right. So I guess we have to go to um, the market. They, like if the it has pink, I would have said cancel your order and I'd buy it here and send it to you. Let's find that yeah, I mean, I think that that's that's so sweet, but already uh, I'm already it's already on, on its way to me. I paid for it just now. So well, not just now, like yesterday. So I'm hoping it's going to be here tomorrow. Is this Santiago? No, it's a goblin. Who is Santiago? Sonia? Yeah, let's let's walk a little bit. Are you Santiago? No. Ah, Santiago. How can I help you? Do you happen to have the golden tuna for sale? Do you happen to have a golden tuna for sale? Huh? Did I hear that right? You're talking about the golden tuna? Do you have it or not? Actually, I do have this beautiful, exclusive, incredible fish. Fish. But Doesn't there always have to be a but? Nah, life is just a series of infinite buts. Remember infinite that, buts? Amigo? Fine. What do you want then? I got a fresh batch here, but I still can't get my hands on it. Sort the fish while I handle the customers, and the golden tuna is yours. All right, sounds good. Some perhaps get custom ones with the name stitch on it. I was actually thinking about that because our bio doggo has a custom neoprene one as well with his name on it, like, you know, stitched on it too, which is super cute. I was thinking about getting one of those, but then I really like the Mr. S ones because then it matches the color, the, the same pink as my harness and my, uh, my hood. Um, and also it has like uh, the Mr. S ones has like a little like a little ring on, on, on it as well, which makes it easy to, you know, hook a leash on, but also um, to add my uh, my my name tag on as well. So that's why I decided to go with the Mr. S one instead of with a custom one with my name uh, embroidered on it. I might do that in the future because they are kind of cute, though. Um, but yeah, I'm curious how much did you pay for the collar, if I may ask? I think it was 36. Seven, I want to say, I think 37 euros, something like that. Like maybe 37.50 or maybe 37.95. But yeah, I think 37. <laughs> Infinite butts, right? Now people stitching the name on the Mr. S ones just takes a while. Yeah, and I'm not really good with stitching, so I don't want to like, you know, do that, I guess. Deal. That shouldn't be too hard. Just don't get too cocky. Okay. All right, camarada. What you have to do is sort the new batch of fish. Be fish. simple. Good fish to the left, bad fish to the right. Come on, no time to waste. Okay. Good fish or bad fish? Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Bad fish. Okay. Okay, seems easy enough. No bad, camarada, but the next batch is a little different. If you see a fish with red fins, put it to the left, even if it looks rotten. Sounds strange, I know, but that's kind of a weird delicacy we have here. Tastes like a first kiss. Nasty, but unforgettable. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna look rotten, but with red fins, and then we need to swipe to the left as well. You're doing good, camarada. I am, now thank you. Stay vigilant, because in the next batch, there might be whatever landers who turned into fish. <laughs> you wouldn't want to eat them, no? <laughs> so watch out for fish with human eyes and put them to the right. Okay, fish with human eyes. So far, so good. Did 
just a couple more, I think. Oh crap! I did. I. I, I already. Ah, no I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Batch, That's in the for fish. You see, local cats found out we were throwing fishy whatever landers away. So they started drawing eyes on the fresh fish to confuse us and snatch it for themselves. Don't let those fake eyes confuse you. Oh crap, fake eyes? How do I know which ones are fake though? Ah, okay. Oh wait, no, these are good. Okay, so I can I can swipe them left. Beautiful! All the fish is in the right place, thanks to you, camarada. Here's your golden tuna, just as I promised. Yay! We Oh wait, hello? Hello? <laughs> okay, I think I think I'm back. Um hang on. Let me uh, let me actually get everything started again. Okay, so that was a that was a blue screen again, which uh not too happy with because I thought I fixed those issues. Um Now of course we've been blue screen free for several weeks, so I guess that, you know, I shouldn't draw any conclusions out of that, but still not what we um not what we uh, agreed upon computer pc uh, okay wait let me get some music going on as well i hope that the game saved though because i otherwise I have to do that fish game yet again oh jeez that's loud i hope that the game saved uh i still blame twitch yeah 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 let's let's just keep blaming twitch because then i also had issues trying to connect back back into uh um into twitch so let's see if this works again Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, let me uh, let me get uh, get everything going again. Ah, <sighs> it's uh, it's uh, it's one interesting day, I guess. We can we can we can say that. It's an uh, interesting day. <laughs> uh, Mondo and Tricks, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Um. All right, let's see. T -t 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 -t. Logging back into my um Hello. Hello. There we go. My password manager was like, no, this is not your password. I was like, yes, it is my password. What are you talking about? I cannot redeem rewards because the stream is not live. 
Do, do you think maybe Twitch also counts that as uh, as purchases, quote unquote? Hi. 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 <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, we got the uh, what is it? The demisexual flag. All right, launching the game again. Hey, that's me! <laughs> oh, that's me! <laughs> Yay, representation! See, that's why I also love this, um... Why I also love this redeem is when people are like, Wait, that's, that's my flag! I love that. Like, you know, I have the same when it's like, you know, the rubber flag or the, the puppy flag. I have the same like, hey, that's me! <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm always happy when we, uh, when we have, uh, when, when people feel included. I'm happy that you're including that because a lot of people refuse to recognize that as a genuine thing. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I have, I want to say 18 different flags. I think it's 18 that are, that are cycling through there. Um, and most, like, I, I just looked up for, uh, I just looked at, like, I, I just googled like, you know, like things that have an official flag and I just sort of included those most of all. Um, so yeah. And and other than that, I'm not really easy one to sort of judge people because I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh no, that's not valid or that's not a real thing or, oh wait, you like that? Oh, that's so weird because, you know, if you like that, then then why why would I tell you otherwise? You know, who, who, who am I to say that your feelings are not valid? I mean, you know, th that's not really up to me, is it? If you feel a certain way, then that's how you feel. <laughs> it's not really for me to say like, oh, wait, you feel like that? No, 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 no. You're not going to feel like that anymore. From now on, just feel like this. And then, you know, then you're going to fit in this little particular label, you know, then don't feel the other thing anymore because that's, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't believe in stuff like that. <laughs> I don't believe in stuff like that. You have to design a rubber perfect flag. I have one though. I have one. It's not like it's obviously not official. Wait, let me let me see if I can show it to you. Obviously, it's not like an official thing, but I've made something for like my uh, my Twitter my Twitter profile thingy. Um, wait, let me show it to you guys. Look. Um, it rolls around. Look. So I made this. Wait, let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can properly see it. Or do this. So I made that. So this is basically like the latex flag. But then with little puppy bones, I was like, now it's it's a rubber puppy flag. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm sure I didn't I didn't come up with this design myself because I I feel that I've seen it before. But I was like, well, I'm just gonna make my own image, and then it's it's two flags sort of combined. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I I kind of I kind of made made that. It's it's so the the base is like the latex pride flag, uh, and then the bones are just you know like based for like you know puppies. So, um, so yeah. Um, and I, I use that as my, uh, as my, um, my, my Twitter header image thingy. When is a flag official? That is a good question. I, I mean, I feel when I find it on like, you know, a Wikipedia or something like that. Um, I feel that it's more like, you know, more official, I guess. So, all right, let's see. Come on, fingers crossed that we saved the fish. Like the right place to look for a non-existent fish. Quit the brooding and let's find that precious tuna. Okay, I think we have to do the fish tested. game again. I feel like we have to do the fish game again. Let's see, do we have the fish? We do not have the fish. So we have to do the fish game again. Taco, hello, welcome on in. I now announce this as the official rubber puppy flag. <laughs> game was rude. Yeah, I think, I think like, you know, five seconds later and I'm sure that we would have, uh, it would have saved. Luckily, the game wasn't too difficult, so... How can, can I help you? We can do that. We can just skip do you happen to, huh? do the conversation have because we've heard this before. I, I, got a... I have need a to play Tinder to fish right again. Now. Yeah, exactly. Right. We need to do Tinder for fish again. Um, I'm ready to help you with it. Then All right. Okay. Tinder for fish. No bad, camarada. I know. Next batch is a I can play the fish game perfectly. I bet there will be an achievement for that. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Left, even if he looks rotten. 
Sounds strange, I know, but that's kind of a weird delicacy we have here. Tastes like a first kiss. First kiss. Nasty, but unforgettable. I mean, I wouldn't say my first kiss was nasty, though. It was definitely unforgettable. Uh, but I wouldn't say it was nasty. You're doing good, camarada. Now stay vigilant, because in the next batch there might be whatever landers who turned into fish. <laughs> you who turned into them, fish? No? <laughs> so watch out for fish with human eyes. I love it when he says fish. To the right. All right, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have to be more vigilant though, because sometimes this is pretty difficult. Nah, I almost made a mistake there. Tired already? Ah, no fish. Worries. This is the last batch, but a very. I love the fish. Mark. You see. Local cats found out it's not Twitch's fault, it's AWS's fault. Yeah, it's just Amazon's fault, but you know, Amazon owns Twitch, so. ...to confuse us and snatch it for themselves. Don't let those fake eyes confuse you. Yeah. I'm not gonna let the fake eyes confuse me. Right, I noticed that my brain is like processing things a little bit slower now after like a couple of batches, so... We're still gonna be fine. Ah, oh, crap, mistake. Ah, oh, crap, mistake. Beautiful. Ah, we did it. All the fish is in the right place. Thanks to you, camarada. Here's your golden tube. Okay, don't crash for me now. Don't crash for me now. Don't crash for me now. Okay, we got it. Nice. Okay, let's quickly go back to the ramen shop. Then hopefully it saves the game. Or maybe we can just do it ourselves. Let's see. Let's just save the game right there. Slot one. Perfect. Okay. Let's go into the kitchen. Alright. There were recipes uh, apparently on the fridge. Cucumbers moist. Haha. Moist. <laughs> moist. Why is moist such a funny word? Why is moist such a funny word? Keep the cucumbers moist. Haha. <laughs> moist. Moist. Okay, I think it keeps saying the same thing. Can't use emotes? Oh, really? Is anyone else having the issues that they can't use custom emotes? Why is 69 a funny number? Because it's it's the it's the funny number. It, it just it just is. All right, let's see. Cook ramen. Egg. Okay, we start with an egg. Okay, then we have this. Oh wait, do we do we put the egg in the water? Okay, then we have this. I'm assuming we're gonna chop that up and put that in the water as well. I kind of okay. I, I kind of feel that I we need to watch it again. Can we rewind? Stop! I want to rewind. <laughs> Cooking with Jordy. I have emotes. Oh, you got some cute emotes as well. Heck. Okay. Here, can we watch that again? Okay. So we have this. Do we just put that in, or...? Wait, we're gonna grate? I'm gonna put that in, then we're gonna put some oil in. Then the ramen. Then we're gonna grate a tomato. Which is super weird. Then we put another egg in. Oh, we're gonna grate another egg. How does one grate an egg? And we're gonna smash an egg? And then we can plate it up? Wait, is that it? 
I'm not sure if that's it, chat. Refresh the page and now it works again. Nice! I don't know if this is it. I guess we'll have to we'll have to go and find out. So I didn't add the uh, the golden tuna. Yes. Give ramen. Here, try this. Okay, let's see if she likes it. Oh wow, she's got interesting teeth. Uh oh. This is the worst thing I've had in my mouth for a while. Wow. Okay. Okay, she doesn't like it. Clearly. I guess we have to try again. I'm still working, but I'm gonna lurk hugs. Uh, Pap Taki, hello, welcome on in. I can cook some ramen here. Or yeah. at least try to. Yeah, okay. I guess we made a mistake. I also didn't put in the fish, which is probably an issue. Okay, we're gonna start with a cucumber, which we're gonna dice. I'm assuming we have to put in the cucumber in the water, though, right? Like, yeah, then we're gonna take this thing. I'm gonna put that in the water. Then we're gonna take an egg and we're gonna chop that up as well. Ramen. Some soy sauce, I assume. Another egg. Some, uh, what is that? I still didn't put in the fish. When should I put in the fish? There's a rumor that there will be pep cooking stream with some typical Dutch food when Jordi hits 150 subs. <laughs> when, when did you find this rumor? Here, try this. Okay, I'm sure she's not going to like it again. Yeah, she doesn't like it. Okay, maybe I should add the fish. This is the worst thing I've had in my mouth for a while. Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe I need to add the fish just like in the end, maybe. I want to try I want to do this well. Was there a question mark somewhere in the steps? I don't think there was. Oh wait, you can't see the steps. Okay, wait, let me let me do it like this. Okay. Going to grate a tomato. Again, I have no idea how you grate a tomato, but ramen. One of these things. I'm gonna dice up a cucumber. A whole tomato. Tomato, I guess. Kind of weird. Some lime juice, maybe? Another grated... A grated one of these. What are the... What are those things called? Okay, and then the... The fish? Okay, let's try that. Oh, okay, I did get an achievement this time, so maybe now it's better. Because I did get an achievement, so maybe it's better now. I guess we're gonna find out. Leak? Is that a leak? Give golden tuna ramen? Here, try this. Wait, you actually made me a ramen? I did, yeah. You must be desperate. Let's see. Oh, Master Chef, I got an achievement again. Oh, she loves it. Oh, look at that. It's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. The tuna is melting in my mouth like fresh butter. Fresh butter. Reminds me of the good old days. You managed to impress me. I'll give you that. Here, the spell is yours. Thank you. By the way, your taste is really weird. Ha! Huh? You think I don't know that? Now, get out of my face before I force you to make me another bowl. Wait, did she give me the recipe the, or the thing though? Oh, she did. Perfect. Yay, we got another scroll or another fragment, I should say. Lovely. So that's what, five out of seven? So, you're a thief and a master chef all at once. Who would have thought? I'm a man of many talents and a fish connoisseur, mind you. And a fish connoisseur, mind you. 
By the way, you look great in an apron. Just saying. Oh, I'm flattered. All that ramen made me hungry as a wolf. How about we order something to celebrate? Let's celebrate after we get out of here, all right? Remind me why do I keep hanging out with you? Because I look great in an apron, obviously. Exactly. Obviously. Now off we go. Off we go. Yeah, I'm not sure. So fine and brittle, it barely took an hour. As tender flesh grew sweeter and blood was getting sour, her eyes, so blue and clever, got dark and filled with fear. Tear her apart could never. Too salty from the tears. How very deep. So very deep. Okay. Um, let's save the game there, just in case. Alright, where do we go next? Because the only place that we can see on the map that still has a scroll is the casino. So I'm guessing we're gonna go there. Um, I really hope that we don't have to do, um, the Skull and Bones game in order to get, like, the last couple of fragments, but I'm kind of afraid that we do. Which would be kind of annoying, because I think we still need two more. One here, then one big one down here, I think. So yeah, I'm really hoping we don't have to, um... See, we haven't done anything with these yet. Oh wait, we can actually see the tattoo that I made down here, which is kind of funny. Let's see, we... did we do... yeah, we did something here. Um... And then this one we also haven't done anything with. Alright. I don't know who we have to talk to here, though. Um. Hello? Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't think it was Spring Onion. I think it was the same thing that um, Farfetch, the Pokemon, was is, is always, like, waving. Alright, who do we talk to here? I think it's this guy. Or maybe not. Maybe it's this guy. I love the Pokemon reference. Yeah, what what is he what is he always holding the uh, far fetched? I think that's the same thing State that I was business. referring to. I want to talk to Ernest. I want to talk to Ernest. You talk to the leader. Maybe in the next life, if you get one. Do I need to wear a leather jacket to get in or what? And why is that? I thought all oh, whatever landers were equal losers. Do I need to wear a leather jacket to get in? Is that a leak? Anyone can wear a cool jacket, but not anyone can meet the leader. Okay, then maybe that's what, what it saying? is. Yeah, whatever. But is there really no way to get inside? Well, maybe if you become the second best bone bones player in whatever land and have a bet that might interest the leader, but that is not possible. So the answer is no. We'll see about that. Oh, I'll be back soon. I hope not. So I actually need to get better at playing Bell and Bones because I have no I really don't understand the game. So that's kind of a bummer. Because Yeah. Alright, let's have a look. Let's go back to the ramen shop and let's see if we can challenge some people to a Bell and Bones game. Uh let's see, who was it again? Customer? No. This guy, I think. Oh, uh, what? I want to challenge you to a Bell and Bones match. Oh, fine. But don't disappoint me. I will not disappoint you. I hope. I still have no idea how this game works, so that's kind of a bummer. Like, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Today is a good day to invest. Okay. Your turn. Okay. I'm gonna go forward a little bit, I guess. Okay. Um. Okay. Enemy turn. I wish that I had any idea what I was doing, but I really have no idea. My turn. OK. 
Can I take the bell or what? Because I don't, I don't, only this person seems to have a bell, so I don't have a bell, it seems. Wait, maybe I'm giving away... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm making it easy for them to get closer, I don't know. Maybe I should have blocked this person. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Miss! Defense! Wait, they missed? Okay, so now it's my turn. Okay, so this person has the bell, I think. Okay, so now I guess I have the bell. Okay, let's, let's stack up like this for now, I guess. Okay, so this person can only walk one at a time, I think. Wait, can I... Ah, oh, there's no one there, so I can't... I th mm, okay. Far well, veteran homage to the Japanese idiom that something can be as fortunate as coming across... Duck with a leek as both ingredients for a specific soup. The English name is a joke at how specific their concept ideas. <laughs> is it very far-fetched? Okay, wait. Can I throw the thing? Oh, I can! Okay, I can throw it to them. Okay, now he can move further. Okay, and then he can go further as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're stuck now, dude. You're stuck. You can't get to me. Okay, my turn. Wait, maybe I should have gone... Wait. And then he score. Crap, I gave... Wait, did I just give it away? Crap. Okay, can I just skip this? Skip match? Yeah, because I really have no idea what I'm doing. I have literally no idea. By the way, I'm considering buying a model head to put my hood on to store and display. If I use one of those. Yes, I am using one of those myself uh, as well, uh, Techie. Or oh, Techie, uh, sorry, Caustic. Yeah, I have one of those myself. Um, wait, I can, let me grab it for I you so I can show it off. Expect to lose. I didn't expect to lose. You made me weak. You taught me a good lesson. Yes, sir. All right, we can try and go into the kitchen again. Maybe there's one of those cat bell thingies. Um, let me let me grab the hood that I, or the, the the mannequin head that I'm using. Um, so this is the one that I have, which is a big, uh, big, basically a big black plastic head. Uh, and it's it's hollow, so it's you know it's it's, it's very lightweight, and I can just put my head on it or my hood on it. So um, yeah. That's what I use because it, it keeps it nice and, and stored. The only thing with this particular one is that it's maybe a tad big. Um, like not in a bad way, I guess, but like it might be just a little bit too big. Um, but yeah. So, so, so there's that. Also, one thing that I'm noticing is that it might be stretching the ears out a little bit too much, but I don't know. I have to look into that. Um, but yeah, that's the one that I'm using. I'm th that's the one that I'm using. <laughs> Definitely a good idea, I think. That's what she said. Wait, what did I say? It's a bit too big. You have those IKEA lights. Yeah, those are also really fun. I'll get one of the soft ones without ears, I think. Yeah, I wanted to get one that was really... Um, I saw another one online that I thought was actually would be better. 
Um, but I, they were like 50 bucks. So I don't want to get like a styrofoam one though, because I think they'll like styrofoam can only start to like, you know, get brittle and I don't want that. Um, so yeah, but I'm feeling this one might be a bit too big because I'm noticing that the ears are now, I, I saw like a little like, you know, indents where the ears are and I'm not sure if that's good. So yeah. Um, but it's definitely a good way to keep to store your your hood on though to keep it nice and and clean and fresh looking ah uh, okay so i don't think i can find what let's actually have a look if i did something with the um yeah, so i did all of these so i just need to go to this guy i'm not sure where he is but i think i need to go to this guy as well i think i have two more skips though so if I can find another skip, that would be good. I, yeah, I got two more skips. So if I can find one or two more, that would be great. Let's see, where, which other guy do- wait. Is that this guy, the dark alley? Yours is for headphones, that's why it has ears. I'll try to get one without ears. Yeah, I wanted to get one without ears as well, but I just couldn't find any that I really that I liked and that weren't like super expensive. I mean, I had a pretty hard time finding this one. Um, so yeah. Wait, is it this guy that I have to have to defeat? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. But yeah, those IKEA lamps they might also work. Um, I've no idea, like you know how, like you know, obviously they are lamps, so you need to get like you know some like a socket where you can attach them to. Um, so yeah. I want to challenge you to... Plus, I mean, I, I don't necessarily want to have a lamp there where, it's, where you like, got. you know, where it is. All right, I'm going to skip it because, again, I have no idea what I'm doing with this game. Just need to plug him into a socket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like I don't have any sockets right You're there, so. Surprises. Now I need to up my game and get a rematch. Get a rematch. All right, let's see. I think we've yeah we've done all of these, so we just got two more. But I only have one more skip. So I need to find more skips though, I guess. I'm not sure where I can find them. Let's just go to some places that I haven't been to. Just cut off the ears. I'm not sure if I can just cut them off. Oh. Why can't you just give up? If you know. really expect me to let you paint my side of the living room pink, then you're even more stupid than I thought, sister. But sister. why? You never had any taste anyway. Because it's pink. It's pretty. You know I hate pink. How you can you hate, hate pink? All pretty things. So what? That's not true. You know I'm. How can you hate pink? Just can't admit it. I guess liking pretty things also means having a pearl for a brain. Isn't that right, sister? Why do you always have to be so negative? You're ruining my aura. Then go <laughs> back to your pretty room with your pretty things. You yeah. don't get to tell me what to do. As a matter of fact, I am going back to my room, but certainly not because you told me so. I of course not. And my own woman. Sure, I'm my own sweetie. woman. Don't worry, you pretty little head. Get that, you petty old bitch. You'll pay for that, sister. Well, they seem to, they seem really nice and to really get along with each other. They seem they seem lovely. No, not, not Siri. I didn't say Siri. They, I said they seem that? lovely. I never said it was going to be easy. <laughs> I never said it was going to be easy. All right. Apparently, the sister's mental age hasn't changed much since kindergarten. <laughs> Such a good bond between the two. All right. I like these I like these dog paintings. Always wanted to house with a fireplace. Only robbed them so far. Also, I feel that, you know, having like a um like like a scarf or whatever these things are next to a fireplace kind of seems like a fire hazard. 
I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but, but you know, don't think it's necessarily a good idea. Also, clearly they don't mind me being in their house. Should I offer to play fetch with him, or is it too much? Oh no, Please, absolutely. Don't smear my reputation like that. Oh, now I really want to do it. Yeah, same. Let's play fetch. Greetings, gentlemen. Oh, may I help you with something? I'm Vincent. I, I didn't expect a dog to be able to talk. Nice to meet you, Vincent. Do the sisters have some kind of safe where they keep precious stuff? Do the sisters have some kind of a safe where they keep precious stuff? Oh, yes. There's a safe hidden somewhere in the gallery. They made that safe together in a different, more peaceful time. Rose designed the lock and Lily built the whole thing. It's truly remarkable, I must say. I'm sure it is. And uh, where's the gallery, you say? Oh, right there, behind that ugly-looking curtain. Wait, I don't think I was supposed to tell you all that, was I now? Probably not. You said <laughs> it's a long time problem of mine. I have a very hard time keeping quiet. My chattiness may even have caused some quarrels between the twins. Oh no. Don't worry, you did nothing wrong. Don't worry. You did nothing wrong. Oh, if only I was so sure about that, young man. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Uh, excuse me? <clears throat> Sorry, I just meant to ask why you look like a dog. Oh, I see. Well, it's quite easy to explain. I've been taking care of Rose and Lily since they were little girls. When Beatrice sent them to whatever land, I followed. I guess my loyal nature just finally manifested itself. So, you could say that I am a good boy, indeed. Don't you regret choosing to be stuck here with them forever? Not even for a second. I just wish they could restore the beautiful bond that I know they still have. All right. Uh, I'll get going. I'll get going. Farewell. There was one bizarre guy at my college who hated anything pink. All right, so we need to get behind the uh, the curtain, I guess. Because that's where the gallery is. Okay, this is a very uh, fascinating gallery, I might add. Very interesting. Um, okay, can we click on anything here? Oh wait, we can click on this. Doesn't do anything though. If I was a vault, where would I be hidden? Oh wait, safe? Wait, I saw a little pop-up thing saying a safe. Okay, so this is the safe, I guess? But I can't click on it. It does say safe. Mm, okay, okay, wait, wait. Let's 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 look at things. Let's look at things. Okay, maybe it doesn't doesn't work. Okay, let's try and find something else. Oh wait, there's a ball of yarn. Let's take that because I think we just needed one more. This is how you become a champion. It is. Because I think, yeah, one, two, and then we can go to the top, guys. So ideally one more, and then I think we should be able to complete all the Bell and Bones matches without actually playing any of them. Hello. I'm so sorry you had to watch this unpleasant display. Display? Never Lily's forte. It's fine, family's fight, nothing new here. Actually, you two were equally loud. Actually... You two were equally loud. True. We both can get a little carried away. I hope it won't affect your impression of a certain half of this household. Now, how can I help you? I'm sorry, I just heard something and it turns out my Siri was talking to me even though I didn't ask him to say anything. I was like, wait, what am I hearing? And then Siri was suddenly saying something. Actually, I'm Which happens all the time, I hate that. It's so annoying. Beatrice. Darling, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Darling! Why? 
It's true that me and my sister have a piece of the spell you're looking for, but it's locked in a safe that we can only open together. Together. Then you can just open it and I'll leave you be? Then you can just open it and I'll leave you be. That's out of the question, I'm afraid. There's no way I'm doing anything with her unless she apologizes for being a sorry old bitch. For a second there, I thought it would be easy. Sure. <laughs> yeah, of course. Is anything worthwhile ever easy? So it just feels emotionally neglected. Yeah, I guess. Turn your phone upside down. I can't because it's in a stand. Look. Look, my phone is in a stand. I can't turn it upside down because it's... Then it's... Well, I mean, I can turn it upside down like this. You know, but that wouldn't do anything because it still goes on. <laughs> so, I mean, I can turn it back so backwards, but I doubt that does anything. <laughs> I mean, I can turn it like literally like face down. But I, yeah, then then it's like on my then yeah I don't like that. I like it to have it in the stand. What happened between you two? She's okay, I'll turn it. I'll turn it face down then. Hopefully, it, it won't listen to me anymore then. It was always like that since we were children. I had it all handed to me on a silver platter, while Lily had to fight for her place in this world or that world. That world. I can understand why she's so bitter. But I'm not sure if I like this character. Aren't meant for greatness, you know? And brains have nothing to do with it. So you're the humble one, I take it? <laughs> I bet it's hard to hold up under the weight of all your magnificence. Alright, let's go with that one. Yeah, I bet it's hard to hold up under the weight of all your magnificence. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. I have to go. Such a shame. Wait, is she flirting with me? It feels like she was flirting with me. Okay, so she's not going to be very helpful. The modernists have taken it too far with this one. Okay, let's talk to the other sister. Oh wow, she's got a... Wow, her room is vastly different from... Is this genius or just crazy? The, the other, Can the other one. Tell. Very interesting computer. This is a very old computer as well. Um, Why does it feel like she already hates me, though I haven't done anything yet? Yeah, that's kind of true, I guess. Where did I put my screwdriver? What do you want? In your hand? Are you okay? They, that fight seemed intense. Are you okay? That fight seemed... intense. It's intense. fine. I got used to the fighting long ago. It was always like that between us. Ever since we were little girls. Have you ever tried making peace with her? Actually, I have. I even wrote a letter. But I a don't letter? think that's any of your business. <laughs> she wrote a letter. Like, her sister lives across the room. And then she's like, oh, I'm going to write a letter. Instead of just going across the room and knocking on the door and being like, hi, I want to talk to you. No, no, no. I'm going to write a letter because that's easier. Just as I thought. You don't really hate her, do you? You clearly misunderstood. Please, leave me alone. I need to work. Um, do you still have that letter you wrote to Rose? Do you still have that letter you wrote to Rose? Maybe I do, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Point taken. I heard you two have a piece of the spell which summons Beatrice. I really need it. Sometimes writing out the feelings is a lot easier than speak about it, so there's that. Okay, yeah, that's true, that's true. I remember, but I never did that because my mum beat me to it, but I remember when I wanted to come out, as, as being gay, not, you know, like, you know, as that, that, that. I remember I wanted to put, do it in a letter because indeed it would be easier for my parents. And I thought like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write the letter and I'm going to put it on their beds, like on their pillows. And then I'm going to leave and go to school or, you know, work. Uh, get, I think it was school. At the, yeah, school at the time for sure. I'm going to go to school and then they'll find it and I come back home and then everything is fine. <laughs> Didn't happen that way in the end, but that was always my plan to do it. Uh, which... Probably wouldn't have would have backfired because I would be that you know crazy nervous all day at school. Um, that was like I think it was before the time of like you know iPhones and such. Maybe it was at the time that I got an iPhone. I don't know. 
But I think it was before that time. And like, you know, WhatsApp wasn't the thing. Uh, so like, you know, the only thing that you had were like texting. So that would have been horrible if I would have been at school the entire day wondering if they found my letter and what they think about it. Uh, but in the end, that never happened. My, like I said, my mom beat me to it. I heard you two have a piece of the spell which summons Beatrice. I really need it. What makes you think I care about what you need? And the fact that you have Nick as a sidekick isn't helping. Come on, Lily. It was ages ago. And Wait, what did he do? Face still makes me sick. Wait, what did he do? <laughs> Mum's off a note, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess, uh, I guess... My... Like, way, way before I, I came out, my mother always said to me, like, um, um, she said something like, you know, along the lines of, if you ever get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, of course, and I was always like, why do you say that? What, what like, what, why are you saying that? Um, so I think she already had, like, a bit of a feeling, and she just wanted me to make, she wanted to make sure that I knew that she was okay with that, I guess. And I was like, wait, too. I was like, why are you saying that? <laughs> Um, Whatever he did do back then, he's a different man now. Exactly. However it is, I don't care. This whole conversation so far has been a waste of time, and I have plenty of work. So, please, see yourselves out. Oh, she's lovely. Uh, I think it would also backfire in the sense that you would come home in a weird atmosphere. You wouldn't know if they would accept you or not. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, I would be nervous all day at school and then also that. Um, so yeah, can you maybe move the captions so it doesn't block the view onto the text in the game? Oh, you mean the Twitch captions? I can't do that. That's like, you know, a Twitch thing. I think maybe you can change the settings of the captions and move them, but I'm not entirely sure. But I can't do, I can't change like the captions because that's something that Twitch um controls like you can control that yourself um so i don't think i i i'm not sure if you can move them though i think you can change like the size and the color but i'm not sure if you can move them uh, you can turn them off though if you don't like them you can turn them off um i thought i was in the overlay no 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 no. it's it's purely on twitch um yeah my kids don't even question anything when I mention partner, uh, but different times, I think. A lot of people in, of our generation grew up with parents just assuming stuff. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like these days, a lot of, you know, parents also raise their children to be gender neutral, which I think is a, not necessarily a bad thing, even though a lot of people are like, why are you doing that? You are making these kids make a choice they don't want to make. And I'm like, that's not how that works. But okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, but I think it need like different times. I think different times. Um... So yeah, mom, my mom thought my brother was gay because he had trouble with women. Well, we never found out. He passed away with a relationship with a woman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. I mean, I guess having trouble with women doesn't always mean instantly that you're gay, but I, I see what you mean, though. OMG, I thought that was a thing you provided. I'm stupid. Turn it off now. <laughs> No, so some people do that. Like, I know, for instance, Minty does also do um, uh, captions on, on his stream. Uh, but those are built into, like, you know, baked into the stream, so you can't turn them on or off. Uh, the caption system that I use is actually uses a native Twitch uh, captions thing, tool, whatever it's called. Uh, so you can turn it on and off yourself if you if you like it or, or not. Um, so, yeah. But happy that you found out. <laughs> happy that you found out. Gender neutral with, with gender reveal parties. I was actually talking to Peter about that today, about a gender reveal party. And I'm like, I, I don't know how I feel about gender reveal parties. Like, why should it be a big thing? Being like, I mean, I get it when parents want to know the gender of the baby, but I don't necessarily see like, you know, gender reveal parties being a thing. Like, we're getting a boy. Okay, good for you. Like, you know, why, why make such a big deal out of that? I don't get it. Uh, I told my mom I might be pan, and now anytime the topic of potential partners comes up, she goes, if you come home with a girl or a guy or whatever, pressure, <laughs> especially whatever, <laughs> like a girl or a guy or a toaster oven, you know, I mean, we don't judge. <laughs> That's funny, though. That's funny. I hated piano lessons as a child. You used to play. 
Really? Don't ask me to do it, because I won't. What a great loss for humanity. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how I should proceed with this one. It's baby fever, adults get that. Wait, are you telling me I'm not an adult? I nah uh nah uh <laughs> Parents at their gender reveal party. Uh, at the gender reveal party, purple smoke comes out yelling, We don't effing care, thanks for coming. Yeah, see that would be that would be a good move though. Okay, let's see if oh, she uh it's you again. It is me again. Oh I, I can't say anything, I have to go. I have to go. Such a shame. Such a shame. Okay, I don't think we can do anything with her here, though, which is kind of annoying, because I don't necessarily know what else I can do. I mean, I totally would steal it from them, but I don't know how to open this safe. Like, I know this is the safe. I get a certain fever sometimes, but I'll just stop there. Wait, I'm kind of curious now, though. Like, are you getting Saturday Night Fever? And you just have to go like this? <laughs> oh, my word, Twitch is so slow today. Wait, what, what is it doing? Or what is it not doing, maybe? I feel like we need to click on something here, but I don't know what. <laughs> Jordi, I love you. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just being a silly goober, okay? Hi, have you seen a safe somewhere here? Yes, a safe. Yes, that's the one. Can you show me where it is? Person plus person okay, equals so safe. I have to help you reach the princess. We have a deal. Deal. Oh, okay, so, okay, okay, so they're gonna go here. Now they're gonna be there. Okay, I think they need to go here. Wait, how does this work? Drag, use to move. Okay. Okay, wait. Your stream is fine for me right now, but just trying to load a page takes forever. Oh, really? Switch clearly be having issues. Okay, wait, how does this work? Okay, wait, so he ate something. Not sure if that's good. Wait, and now he gets sick. Oh wait, he needs to go to the bathroom, okay. Okay, so he's in the bathroom. Oh wait, I can, I can, wait, I can maybe move these. There we go, okay, got it. Okay, we caged the lion, perfect. I also think we already got rid of the, the knight, so that's also good, I think. I love you being a silly goober, and I love being a silly goober. Alright, what's next? I don't exactly know what's next. Okay, so these these two guys. Okay, so we still have to deal with these two. Oh, there we go. I think we sunk their boat. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now we are down here. There's bees. Let's see, how do we get rid of the bees? Mm. We already did that. See, I can't click any of those. I 
feel like we may have already done it, perhaps? I can't seem to do it. I mean, I can click this, but it doesn't seem like anything happens. And I already clicked it. But then, you know, like, it, it, feel, it feels like it sort of got stuck. Maybe, I don't know. Is the puzzle soft locked? It may be, I don't know. Yeah, it might be that, but it could be that that is the case. Wait, let's go, let's go here. Is that, oh wait, lettuce? I also can't seem to move to, uh, drag, use, move. I can't seem to drag and go, like... Wait, let's get out of the room and go back. I mean, I'm not sure if it's broken or if I'm just doing something wrong. Okay, let, I think it's reset, so let's try again. Let's try again. Okay, she's gonna go up here. We're going to lower this so it falls down. And we'll drop down this piece of meat. So the tiger or like the cheetah or whatever it is, it's going to go find that piece of meat. And we'll change the angle of this so it's going to be trapped. All right, then we have the knight. I'm just gonna let, we're gonna let him eat some berries, which makes him go to the toilet. Also, I think it's interesting how the uh, the boat, the ship here, that has some Russian text on it. I think. Okay, next up we have this um, bell that we had to shoot. I think. Dong. All right, then these bad guys come out. We're gonna shoot them again. So their boat sinks. So we can move across the planks of the boat. Does the boat say Putemkin? I have no idea. Like it was Russian text, it seemed so. Alright, the bees flew away. So I think they're gone. Ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. So I think now our character can climb all the way up. Across various paintings. There we go. Now they found each other. Yay! Now they're going to show us the safe, I think. There we go. Okay. Pig. Wait, hang on. It says P pig protective interactive gear. Oh, don't mind me having some protective interactive gear. Ooh. All right, let's see. Can we open this? I don't know if we need to do anything with that right now, but let's first open up this one as well. Okay, same thing. Battery and then that, okay. What else do we have? What else do we have? Oh wait, there's actually more screws that we can undo. Okay, we can break that. Which then destroys this lock, I think. Okay. Let's do the same down here. Let's see, is that going to open the door, perhaps? Not yet. Hmm. 
Mm, all right, can we use this? No. Can we use this? Wait, do we have any other controls? Hold and drag. Hold my hand and rotate. Okay. Doesn't do anything. I'm not exactly sure if I should do something here. Don't think so. All right, let's have a look around if we have anything else that I might be missing here. Um, I kind of feel like we need to do something with, with these, but I don't know. Also, I feel like we need to do something with these these handles here, but again, also maybe not. Let's use anything on these, see if anything happens. I don't think so. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Do we have more of those? No, just the two. And now I think we can use this. There we go. Perfect. All right, cool. We are inside. Let's have a look. Okay, we have various things. Um, just from the looks of it, I don't necessarily see anything in particular that I can interact with just yet. Lots of gears that are spinning. Lots of gears that are spinning, all right. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. Let's Do we have to open these as well? Yep, let's do that. Okay, so we've got a couple of puzzles, I think. Let's just open up everything so we can, you know, deal with this later. Okay. Can we just break the glass? Oh, we can actually. Okay, so we have one item here. Let's see, what is a flea like? Chocolate? Okay, we got two items, perfect. How does this work? Not exactly sure what we should do with this one here. I don't think I can rotate this. Or maybe I can put it in and take this and then no. Okay, let's leave that one for later. Let's see what we can do with this one. Okay, we can spin this. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, wait, so we start here. One, two. Oh, wait, one, two. Okay, so wait, one, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, wait. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Four, there we go, perfect. Okay, so I think the only puzzle that we still have left is this one. And I really have no idea what we need to do with it. Unless we have to open this up even a little bit further, but I don't think so.
Like these two sort of connect. Can we rotate that? I don't think so, right? Hold and drag, hold and rotate. I don't know if I can do anything with this. I don't think it doesn't seem like I can rotate it. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, wait. OK, wait, maybe this is more like it. So we can put these two in. And put this in and then rotate this. So that this fits. Wait, wait. Like that. Hmm, not sure if this is how it's supposed to be. This can't go in any further, it seems, so... Mm, 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 mm. Let me think. If we can't turn these things, we can only turn these. So this can go in here. Crap, I keep forgetting to press and let go once I put something in. This can go on there. And then this can sort of go in here, but not really. It needs to be straight up. Yeah, that's what I think as well. I think it needs to be like, you know, it, we need to fill it up. But like, I'm not sure how. So maybe this needs to go on the other side then. That also wouldn't work. Or would it though? Hang on. Oh wait, maybe it would. Let's see, if it, is this our, like the right angle? Boo, straight. <laughs> oh, like, okay, like that. Perfect. Okay, wait, we're almost, I think we're almost there. Let's get this a bit higher. Okay, wait, this is kind of hard to get this one in there now. Okay, wait, wait, okay, I think I know what I have to do. I think I know what I have to do, but it's kind of hard to get it in properly. That's what she said. Oh, like this, I think maybe, and then the other one. There we go. I was like, this is as, as good as I can get it. <laughs> but I'm okay. So I can put this one here. Um, that one goes there. The flower goes here. This one goes there. This one goes here. And then this one goes here. Perfect. Sunshine goes down. Everything lights up. And there's our piece of the fragment that we needed. We got it! Yay! We did it! Congratulations, you got the spell. Or should I say you stole it? Do you have a problem with that? And do you have no, a problem with that? really. But it would have been nice to help the sisters out, no? Being nice doesn't get things done fast enough. You have a point, Nick? I just wanted to be done with it. Well, maybe if they both weren't so damn annoying. Yeah, kind of well, true. Maybe yeah. If they both weren't so damn annoying. Yeah. All right, all right. I get it. So, shall we move on? Gladly. Gladly. The okay. Hatred flows unchained like fire in my veins. Fire. And where the darkness reigns, my mind was led astray. Oh dear, stay with me here for just a little while, and maybe fake a smile before. We disappear.
very deep. All right, let's save the game. Also, I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, so I can uh, use the bathroom, get something new to drink and stuff like that. So give me, I'm going to give you guys some music to listen to. Um, and then, of course, as always, in the meantime, while I'm on my break, you guys can play some Plinko. So you guys do that and get your Plinko uh, Plinkos ready. Uh, if you don't know what to do, just type an exclamation mark Plinko flood by your favorite emote and watch it drop down the board on my BRB scene. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then once I come back, we're going to see if we can get those last pieces of the fragment. I'm not sure if it's going to how we're going to do it, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out. All right, chat. OK, I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Uh, there will be an ad as well for non subs. Uh, 22 minutes. Just so you guys know, and then I'll see you when I return. I'll be right back.
Hello. Hello, hello. Um, there we go. I have returned. I'm back. Hello. I was just typing. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. I always try to, whenever I come back from my break, I always try to um, make sure that I, I wait for the last one to drop down. And then I uh, then I switch scenes again. Um, so, yeah. Also, I think it's definitely it was definitely a good idea for me to uh, um, to stream tonight because I noticed that, you know, while I was on the uh, in the bathroom and like on my break, I noticed that my brain was already um, going back to uh, sad things, sad things of the day. So um, I think streaming definitely is uh, while I still feel a little bit like, you know, eh, I, I definitely think it's um, um, it was good that, you know, I, I still went live tonight. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. All right. All right. Um. Let's go. And continue. Toilet in the shower are bad spots to be in that. In that case, too much time to think. Yeah, I. I mean, I guess. Wait, is the game muted or? Oh, there we go. I didn't think I actually muted the game. Um. Yeah, I, I guess, I guess that might be true. Okay, so we got almost all fragments, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, we got. We just need the one. We just need the one, which I think we can find in the casino. For which I think we need to um, 
find... Ideally, we we I think we have to um, defeat these two players for in Bells and Bones. And then we have to go on against this guy. So ideally, if we can find two more... Because we have two of these. If we can find two more of these, then we would probably be able to do that. Now, I'm not sure if we've been everywhere. I haven't seen any more, though. I have no idea how many there are in the game. Um... Wait, have we been to the library? I um, hey, Vincent. Yes? How yes? about I wait outside? What? Why? Well... Come on, just tell me. Yeah, just tell me. I just want you to know that Sylvia, the serpentine librarian over there, has a thing for me. A thing? A thing. Yes, a thing. What's with that look? I'm, tr I'm just not trying... I'm just trying not to laugh. Nothing. I just didn't take you for a ladies' man. Nothing. I just didn't take you for a uh, ladies man and why is that yeah why is that not charming enough for you actually you are you're fine nick i just don't see the appeal definitely not actually you are he is oh, kind of yeah um, anyway i warned you now let's move on okay well i did find another bunny let's take you home so that's four i think we need five i want to say five bunnies but not entirely sure i think there were five Oh, geez. Okay, she's really big. Did not expect her to be that big. Let's see, what is this? Honorary whatever land is. Oh, look at that. The honorary whatever land is the people from Kickstarter. That's funny. Let's see if there's anyone that I'm like, oh wait, I know them. I don't think so, but it would be very funny if there was like anyone that I knew. Yeah, no, there's no one I know. <laughs> would be really funny though. I love this name, Patrick Power Netman Maya. That is so funny. If I if I backed this game, I totally would have put Mr. Drillish's in as well. Like Jordy, Mr. Drillish's last name. But I didn't back this game because I didn't know it was a there's thing. Definitely no whatever land on this globe. Some German names. Okay, let's talk to Sylvia, even though I don't necessarily feel that she is going to give us anything that we need. Nick, is that you? It is Those me. Stockings. I'm so happy to see you. Where have oh, you look been? at these serpentines. They're actually oh, hard. Sylvia, I've been working on my latest novel, and the process requires complete solitude. I'm sure you understand. Oh, of course. All geniuses need their privacy. I can't wait to read whatever it is you're writing. It simply must be remarkable. Remarkable. <laughs> and who's that with you? Oh, that's Vincent. My, uh, my new editor. Editor? It's true. His next novel is so good I can't believe it even exists. Literally. I have no idea what he's talking about. Actually, this whole time Nick's been trapped in a closet in the middle of a junkyard. It's true. His next novel is so good, I can't believe it even exists. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Oh, you flatter me. No words can reflect the true depth of my admiration for your talent. Oh, stop it. Stop no, it. No, you stop it. Are no, you, you stop done? it. We are. So you're into Nick, huh? Can I get a snake fact? Can I get a snake fact? Suddenly, it's hard to believe, but the decapitated head of a dead snake can still bite, even hours after its death okay that is a little hard to believe but a very cool fact i love it i'm not sure i want to know what happened we could technically get an extra dutch word of the day it will be the same word though because it literally like you know there's literally it it, it takes from a pool of words and it's not going to be a different word <laughs> well if i think of it no i don't want to think of it i don't want to think of it i kind of wish there was another ball of yarn here but i don't think that's going to be the case which is a bummer, because I mean, if that would be the case, then it would have it would make things so much easier. Um. Then again, we might try something else. OK, wait, let's actually try something else. So we need to go to the old lady and the dog. We have two balls of yarn, so we could technically beat both of them. Because again, I have no idea how this game works. Like I play it, but I, I have no idea what, what we have to do. Hello. Hello. I want to challenge you to a Bell and Bones match. Oh, <laughs> that's a marvelous idea. Marvelous idea. 
Okay, I'm just gonna skip this because again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I like that they put like, you know, a game within a game, but like, it's not really working as I have like, no idea what we have to do. So, victoire! This is ridiculous. Playing against a weak old lady and even daring to win. You should be ashamed of yourself, young man. I wish that this cat... Oh, wait, maybe... Okay, no, I thought maybe this cat would, would give me the ball of yarn, but... Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Then next up, we have to go back to the sister's house because we can also play a game against the dog. Jeeves. Let's ask Jeeves. <laughs> Get it? Why am I... Um. What about the other balls of yarn? No, no, it needs to be a red one. I clicked on the other ones already, but those don't count. I, I think we found one that we could take already in the um, the house of the old lady. Um, I want to challenge you to a bell and bones match. Well, that's interesting. Let's play. Let's play. All right. So my hope is that we don't have to play um we don't have to play the uh the boss man and here i stand defeated that's kind of my hope that we don't have to play the boss man but we can get to him in order to get the last fragment of the um uh of the uh, of the spell that's kind of what i'm hoping So let me quickly check something because I feel that I just got an update on my um, collar if it is indeed going to come tomorrow because it's all, that's always the thing with um, uh, with like our mail services. They always say like, oh yeah, it's going to come tomorrow and then, you know, like it's it's not going to co actually come tomorrow. So let me check what the update is because sometimes they give an update that like they say that it's going to come tomorrow, but then they haven't received it yet or something like that. No, it's still, um, I don't think it's actually going to come tomorrow. I think it's going to come on Friday. Judging by what I see now, but uh, who knows? Maybe it will be here tomorrow. Who knows? All right. All right. My sock shoes will come in tomorrow. Yeah, I, I, I think you, I think you said that. Nice. I, I, I saw the photo. They look really cool. I think I actually, I feel that I got those for myself at some point as well, but I sent them back because I didn't like them. And then I ordered the pink shoes that I have now, the ones that I also wore to um, um, uh, Amsterdam Pride. Like they're basically running shoes, but I, I you know, I, I use them for like, you know, not running, I guess. Uh, but I think I wanted, I think I got the ones that you showed me uh, before. I think I got those before. Then I didn't really like them for me. Um, so I went with, uh, with other ones. I think. State your business. State your business. I've become the second best Bell and Bones player in whatever land. I have become the second best Don't blame Postnerf, they don't, didn't receive it yet. Land. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not. I just hated that they show in the app that it's gonna come tomorrow, and then achievements. they're gonna update it to like, no, you it's gonna come the next day. Him. That is true. So, can I talk to him? It depends. Do you have the six pieces of the spell? And don't look so surprised. You know what I'm talking about. The leader has eyes and ears everywhere. I have the pieces. Yes, I have the pieces. Good. Follow. Me. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. What do you mean? Hmm. Yeah. What do you mean? Hmm. I mean, hmm. You're not what I expected to see. Is that supposed to be an insult or a compliment? And what exactly? And you're exactly what I suspected. What did you expect? Yeah, let's ask that. What did he what expect? What did you expect? A mustache at least. What does a mustache have to do with this? Yeah, what? <laughs> the second best bell and bones player in whatever land without a mustache? Hm. It just doesn't make sense. Um, uh, okay. You're not very chatty, are you? No. I prefer to act, not chat. I understand when a company creates a label, they expect that they get the shipment the same day. Yeah, like, I mean, I kind of get it. But like from like a user point of view, it's kind of like really annoying saying like it's going to come then and then. 
even though they know it's not gonna happen because they didn't get the package yet so like they know it's not gonna happen like why 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 can't they just give me a date and a time when they know for certain that it's gonna come at that date and time like they could like if they if they're not sure like if it's still at like stage one out of four they could have just set, have like a placeholder that says something like um check back later for you know accurate delivery time something like that are you always so serious yes Right, yes. So I know why you're here. You want my piece of Beatrice's spell. And I also know that you already have the rest Smushes of my face to the window 30 seconds after I place an order. <laughs> Someone has eyes everywhere, huh? I told you. Here is my offer. We play against each other. Whoever wins gets all seven pieces. How does that sound? Ah, oh, crap. We actually have to play. Fine, let's get this over with. How is that fair? Yeah, how is that God fair? I what to get these, and you only have one. Haven't you heard? Life's not fair. It's all or nothing. All or nothing? All right, tough guy. Let's play. Baby, it's all or nothing now. I don't want to run and I can't walk out. Oh, this feels very unfair. My turn. Okay, I think we're going to block... We're gonna try and block this guy, I guess. Yeah, open shot, I think. My turn. I'm out for the night for one the rest of the evening. Tricks, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good one. Thank you for being here. Sleep well. And we'll see you uh, again some other time. Ha, missed. Is he going to try now as well? So I have a little bit of an idea what I need to do, but it's still very tricky, this game. I still don't fully understand. All right, I'm going to skip my turn. Like I get it, like I have a bit of an idea what the game wants me to do. But not fully. Okay, he's gonna do that. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so we're gonna have to block. Can I take the ball away from him? I wonder. Kind of sucks that we have to that we have to win this game. I feel otherwise the game, you know, otherwise we won't be able to continue. I think. I have no idea what happens if we don't win this. Oh crap! He's gonna score. I think. Score. Ah, oh, he scored. Crap. Okay, so it's zero one. All right, this guy is gonna walk here.
All right, I have no idea what happens if we lose this, chat. Kind of annoying. Can I move the, the field? I don't think I can. All right, he's going to go there as well. So at least we have several characters that are like, you know, over in this direction, which is good. Same thing here. Just remember, I have another social night hosted by my care provider tomorrow. Oh, nice. At least I, I assume it's nice. I don't know, of course, but like I assume that is something something fun. Are they going to block me? That would be annoying. One second, chat. I guess I had a lot of fun last time. Nice! I can't really see because the scoreboard is kind of in the way, so I can't really see what is happening up there, which is kind of annoying. Oh wait, they stole the ball from me? Oh, that sucks. How did they do that? How can I steal it back from them? Give me the ball! See, I really have no idea what's, what's going on here. What happens if I, if I leave? Abandon match? Yes. Defeat. Kind of. I'm kind of curious because I don't feel I'm going to win this anyway. Kind of curious what happens. Can't say I'm surprised. Does that end the game? To be honest, neither can I. I demand a rematch. Did you realize I just let you win to spare your ego? <laughs> you didn't realize I just let you win to spare A little bit. A little bit. That sense of humor won't be of use to you in a prison cell. Yeah, right. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Did you think I was just going to let you go? Yes. Yes. How naive. You both will rot in a cell for even daring to challenge me and waste my time. Oh, God. I knew it wouldn't end well. I just knew it. We never should have come here, Vincent. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. Getting all hysterical isn't going to help us. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure How it out. How about we reach some kind of agreement? What do you have in mind? How about I give you the pieces, and we go our separate ways? No. You go to this cell and sit there until I decide what to do with you two. Nick has nothing to do with it. At least let him go. Nick has nothing to do with it. At least let him go. There's no way I'm leaving you here. Why uh -huh. do you have to be so stubborn at the worst possible moment? You two are very cute. But no. No. Look on the bright side. At least you'll have company. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Nick is just floating. Oh wait, he's just gonna—he's gonna leave. He's just gonna float away. Oh no, he's not. And I wonder if I'm trapped in a cell with no hope of ever getting out. Marvelous, just marvelous. And the worst part is, I'm all alone for eternity at that. Just how fast will I go insane? I don't know. Maybe the madness has already begun to fester. Maybe. Is that you? Oh, goodness gracious, Vincent. I'm so happy to hear your voice. Me too. Are you holding up all right? Not at all, actually. I'm terrified. I'm sorry. It's my fault we ended up here. Should have known he was a liar. Oh, okay, Vincent, I think this is... your fault at all. If anything, I should have warned you about Ernest. Well, too late. Right. It is. I wanted to tell you something. I think this Since is something that always happened. Here. Yes? It's nothing serious, just... I don't know how to say this, although I'm usually good with words. What is it? I never was, so just say it, I guess. All right. I... Can you both shut up? Oh, no, it's that guy. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep here. Um, Harold? 
Is that you? No, it's Alan. Can't you recognize my pretty voice? Of course it's me, you idiots. But what are you doing here? Yeah, Not what is much. he doing here? Sleeping mostly. And if you want to know how the hell did I get here, then it's a pretty short story. My helicopter crashed into a tree. But not a regular tree, mind you. It was Hannah's favorite tree. Where he came for self-reflection or whatever. Needless to say, the tree is gone. And here I am. Wow. Yeah, wow. And by the way, congratulations. You are now stuck here with me forever. Forever. Oh, no. I can't stay here. I just can't. This is the worst possible turn of events ever. Now I will spend an eternity in confinement, slowly turning into a ghost. What could be worse? A ghost, huh? Then he could easily fly through those bars. I have an idea. I really wonder if this is something that always happens. Um, or if this is something that just happened um, because we made a, a wrong turn or like a mistake or something like that. Um... I don't know. What can be worse than rotting in a cell without the luxury of dying? What can be worse than rotting in a cell without the luxury of dying? Oh, how right you are. And how I hate I wonder if we're close to the end of the game, though. Did I ever write my great it feels like we are, but I have no idea. Me back this whole time? It's too late to think about that now. You missed your chance. The fear of acknowledging the fact that you're a mediocre writer. It's too late to think about that now. You missed your chance. No, that can't be true. Wait, is he gonna be? To is he gonna be like you know unfriendly now? How do I make it stop? You don't. This is your life now. Just relax. Even now, all you can do is feel sorry for yourself. Pathetic. I don't want to be like an asshole to him though. You don't. This is your life now. This is unbearable. I already can't feel my legs, and it's so cold in here, isn't it? Or am I just imagining things? God. I already started to hallucinate. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, wait, I think he turned into a ghost now. I'm free. Yes, it worked. Abusing my delicate nature like that. Vincent, you're a genius. I know. Are you going to help us or what? Already on it. Let's see. <laughs> 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 Wow. There we go. You two are the luckiest bastards I've ever seen. Bastards. You bet. What now? Now we find a way to get out of here. Okay, but how though? Okay, I think this was always going to happen. So even if we won the game, I think it was still going to happen. Ah, a luck. That shouldn't be a problem for you, Vincent. Right? Let's see. Nope. Great. Wait. Let's open this bad boy. Can we pick up the nope. twine? I can't crack this one. What? You've cracked so many locks before. I saw it with my own eyes. Come down, all right? There must be a key that opens this thing. Well, of course. And you think it's just lying around somewhere, waiting for us to find it. I never said that. Actually. Because guess what? It doesn't. Well. Wait, he, he, I think he has it. I think he has it. Think here. Oh, goddess. Why did you trap me here with these two idiots? You have something to say, Harold? As a matter of fact, I do. I oh? know where the key is. Wait, where is it? Hallelujah. Why didn't you tell us sooner? I tried, but... Ah, uh, whatever. So, where's the key? A guard was stupid enough to drop the key into one of those cracks. I, uh, I hope you know how to get it out. I have an idea. We'll make a magnetic fishing rod and draw the key to the surface. Easy. But you idiots... We'll have to find all the parts. I'll need a magnet, a long stick, and a twine. What if I can't find any of those? Right, there's if a twine the here. of us are meant to get out of here today, the goddess will surely help. You just have to believe. Oh, boy. All right. A magnet, a stick, and a twine. Beatrice, you better help me with that. Well, we got a twine. Right there. So that's one. I hope it's sturdy enough. Okay, so what else? We need a magnet. Maybe these rats know something? Um, excuse me? Consider yourself excused. <laughs> Consider yourself you? excused. I'm looking for a magnet. Maybe you've seen one? Well, 
You're in luck. I happen to have one myself. Can I borrow it? Oh, no. Oh. But you can exchange it. Okay. What do you want? A bottle of nice red wine, please. You got yourself a deal. How, wait, how am I going to find a bottle of nice red wine, though? We can't talk to Nick. I wonder how many people have been trapped here. How the hell am I going to find a bottle of red wine? Red, red wine, yeah. I think I can actually see a key down there. Hmm. Oh, wait, home is... Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, you can go to other floors as well. Okay, so maybe we can... Okay, so that's the same floor. Let's go to floor number one with the boxes. There we go. There's a bottle of wine that we need. And maybe also a stick. Also, look at these cute little pigeons. All right, we need a stick as well. Could Ernest be a Libra? I bet he could. What is this? Some seed? Pigeons. Hello again. Sorry I threw rocks at you last time. Still no baby pigeons. Where are they? Oh, wait, here's Still a stick. Still no baby pigeons. Where are they? Maybe I need to take and put this on the floor. I need to put it in the scales. Hmm, okay, wait. Hmm. Can I take more? I can take more. All right. Okay, so I can maybe tip the scales into like a certain direction. Not sure what direction it should go into, though. I'm not sure if I'm doing anything good here, but I'm just trying out, like, tipping the scale in a certain direction. Maybe that does anything. Ah! That definitely did something. Okay, we got ourselves a stick. Hmm, that could work. And of course, also my lockpicks. Let's, let's take those as well. Because you never know. Okay, so we got that. And also a knife. Can I take the knife? I cannot take the knife. Alright, let's use the elevator again. We go down. Also, wait, what is the company? Levator Inc. That's funny. I said, okay, so I got yourself the wine. Here you go. Looked pretty fancy to me. Fancy indeed. The indeed. It is yours. Okay, so we got all the supplies. So we got the stick. Oh wait, no, we uh, never mind. We don't have all the supplies just yet. Actually, got a magnet. Wow, maybe Harold has a point. All right, let's talk to him. Good. Now give me a second. Okay. He's gonna do his magic with his goggles, of course. Oh, he's gonna burn them together. Does that make sense? You know, we got like a wooden or like you know a rope swine. <laughs> And a magnet, and you know, we definitely need to burn them together. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, and now we're gonna use that floor crack. And we got the key! Perfect, so now we can use that on the elevator. Yes. Good job, Vincent. Thank you. Hey, I was the one who made the rod. 
Ah, whatever. At least we got the key. Let's get out of here, shall we? Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, elevator buttons. Shit. What? Did you Making all the progress, right? There? No, I just realized that we lost all the pieces of the spell. Oh, yeah, we did do that. Turns out it was all for nothing. No, Vincent, I assure you it was not. You'll see. Unscientific as it may be, I'm inclined to side with the ghost. Now is not the time to give up. If only I could share your optimism. Oh, wait, where are we? Is that Ernest's study? My oh my! My oh that my! Is fancy. What are the chances he hid the spell somewhere in here? High enough, I'd say. But where? <clears throat> Gentlemen, today is your lucky day. Oh, Did is it? Feel like it so far. Well, it's going to. You see, I know where he might be keeping the spell. Ernest has a safe. Where he keeps all the important stuff. If the spell is in okay, this I think room, the safe is in here. It's going to be there. How do you know about the safe? Me? Why, I made it. Here, oh. Look. Also, I noticed everyone has the heaviest Maybe smudged eyeliner. Yeah, you know yeah. Have to open it. Of course I do. I could open it for you. Sure. But as far as I remember. You're quite big. Point taken. Fine, I'll figure it out. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure it out ourselves. Wait, can we do anything else here, though? No. Alright, let's go and work our magic on the safe. Let's see. I'm sure we can... Uh... Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Let's open up... Let's first open up everything that we can do something with. ER. AR. Okay, wait. Farmer. Son. What is that? A pig? Cloth. Okay. Wait, go to three. Un niño único y suito que ha redefinido la relación entre la personas y los animales. Su amistad ha inspirado no solo a los defensores de los animales de todo el pez, sino también a la gente corri corriente. Quien sabe tal vez el futuro cambie gracias. A estos dos amigos. Does anyone speak Spanish? Anyone speak Spanish? Because uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, so that's not going to help us. So I don't know what this button did. We, we did something with that button, but I don't think it did anything. Okay, so I think we have to find... Okay, so what would this be? Farmer? F-A-R-M-E-R? -E yeah, that's not going to fit. Wait, go back a moment? You mean to the Spanish? I can get the gist of it. Well, it has something to do with two amigos, so two friends, I guess, and something with animals and a relationship between people and animals, I guess. They have redefined the relationship between people and animals. And then they also inspired something with defending the animals, I guess. Against something. I don't know. Like, again, I don't speak Spanish. I have no idea what it says here. Okay, yeah, you basically have it too. Oh, I did? Okay. <laughs> Wait, maybe I need to do something with, with the cloth here. Uh, mobile apps is translated. You point at the sex with the cam and see the translation on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But I don't think that I need to have like a full translation because they can't expect me to either know Spanish 
or be able to like you know translate with like an app so it, it must be something that is not necessarily important i guess all right let's go back to one er sun ar Oh wait, not all the letters are here though. Okay, that's interesting. I also don't know what this button did. I know that I pressed this button, but I have no idea what it does. If I'm being like super honest. The kid's name is Ernesto, so the AR is probably the first part of the bull's name. Or uh, wait. So what er, e r n e s t o? Wait, that would fit e r n e s t o. Ernesto. I don't think we have an e though. No, we don't have an e. All we have are a b d k m n o r u, and that's it. I think it's the bull's full name. Uh, anyway, how I'm heading to bed. Thanks for the lovely stream. No worries, Miles. Thank you for stopping by. Wish me luck tomorrow with your driving exam. Yes! All the luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. I hope you have more luck than I do. Um, but, uh, you know, just just be feel confident. Feel, feel, um, yeah, feel confident. And just look in the mirrors a million times because that's what you want to see. So do that. And then just trust on your instincts and trust on your guts. And I'm sure you're going to you're gonna be good. I'm sure you're going to be good. But I, I'm hoping that you'll. Uh, hoping, I'm hoping that you're gonna make it. I hope that you're gonna make it. Um, but you sleep well, and good luck tomorrow. Um, think about me at, at 14:45. I'm gonna do my best. I know that I'm gonna most likely forget the time, but I'm gonna do my best. The use drag, yeah, so that doesn't give us anything. Undo e and wait, undo. I don't think we have. Wait, do we have an O? Undo. Ah, yeah, so maybe this is the name of the bull. So... Something, something, let's see, bull... Burundo? No. There's too many letters to also... Ar Armundo? Wait, why Armundo? Arm... Armundo? Oh, wait, how did you get that? Wait, is that... Wait, does it say that anywhere here? Why did you think Armundo? Was that like the Spanish name for a bull? Or something? Okay, there we go. Ah, there it is! Vincent, I think today is our lucky day indeed. All seven pieces. All seven Reunited pieces. Reunited at last. And all thanks to me! Now we just have to get out of here unnoticed. Well, yeah. here's an idea. Our mundo is an actual name? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Wait, what? Now we can just climb out the window. So, this is it. We have all seven pieces of the spell. The question is, what are we going to do with them? I don't know. What do you mean? Let's summon that witch. You know, I don't think I want to leave whatever land anymore. What do you mean? Let's summon that witch. Yes. I can't believe it's finally happening. I think we're getting close to the end of the game, though. Hey, Gus, how are you doing? Welcome in. Hello, hello. How are you? First day they tear down her tightly shut door. Not a single soul cares for her no more. On the second day, fires come dancing alive. To the I'm good, thanks. How are you, Cute Bean? I'm not doing too great today. Um, but streaming definitely takes my mind off of things, so that's that's good. 
drops a scream from That's her good. That you'll never get back. On the fourth day, faint whispers start gliding in the ash. As it rises above, like a spell gently hushed. On the fifth day, forsaken, her soul gently quivers. Sets a flicker of hope among mindless believers. On the sixth day, there was... This is very, um... Um, very, um, psychedelic almost. Sorry to hear, but yeah, distraction is key. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. How many days are there? Did you also participate in the uh, Twitch Leather Pride weekend uh, last weekend, Gus? I'm not sure if I saw if I saw you on the uh, on the list of uh, people that would participate. So just curious. Ooh, things are happening, chat. Things are happening. It's her. Oh yeah, that guy faints because he's madly in love with her. Bonjour. Oh no! Oh, that didn't do anything, okay. Bye! <laughs> That's funny. Impressive. Thank you. It seems I've been gone for so long. Some people have forgotten. It's been it gone for so long. To mess with me. So, Vincent, here you are. Here I am. I must confess, Vincent, it was quite exhausting to watch you this whole time. I could never figure out why you were either helping or deceiving those who stood in your way. Is that a question? It might be. I don't know, it was more a, uh, a, a statement, I guess. I just did whatever seemed most convenient. I helped those who actually needed it, that's all. You're really overthinking this? I helped those who actually needed it, that's all. And how did you decide who really needed help? I... Trusted my instincts? I don't know, just go with the flow. I just go with the flow. And the flow took you far enough this time. It I did. I see you're not alone. And what company you keep. Nick, darling. You didn't think I had forgotten about you? Forgotten me? Oh, never. Forgotten me? You finally managed to fulfill the terms of our little agreement. Isn't that marvelous? Wait, what agreement? Wait, what? What is she talking about, Nick? Ah, I haven't been completely honest with you, Vincent. Oh. I never told you how I ended up here in whatever land. No, you didn't. You see, it happened when I was at my lowest point. I couldn't write, couldn't think. It seemed like life had no meaning at all. So I, I turned to the occult. And that's how I met Beatrice. She told me that she could take me to a place filled with the most unusual people in the world. All kinds of bastards, wretched souls, outcasts, and just good old freaks. I was ecstatic. A place like this could reignite my lust for life, for writing. But Beatrice had one condition. Which what was? I had to find someone who would want to get out of whatever land. But that doesn't make any sense. Doesn't everybody want to leave? Oh, Vincent. Have you not talked to the people? Have you not heard how afraid they are of ever leaving? I just don't know there's a way out. Actually, a lot of them seem happy here. I don't understand any of it. I don't understand any of it. Everyone knows of the spell's existence. Everyone could have done the same thing you did. But has anyone made it to the end? When I created no. this world, I thought it would become a prison where the vilest of humans would suffer forever, longing for their freedom. But I was too naive. It turned out that for most of them, getting into whatever land was more of a blessing than a curse. Their former reality terrified them so much that the prospect of living an eternal life in captivity was bliss. So they adapted. Adapted? As all humans do. Contentment triumphed over freedom. And if whatever land was ever a prison, then only the most beloved one. So nobody even tried to get out. But then you came along. And you finally found the perfect guinea pig. Isn't that right, Nick? 
Ouch. No need to be so judgmental. You were lying to me this whole time. I think I deserve to be a little bit judgmental. I know. And I'm sorry about that. I really wanted to tell you, I promise. But then the whole experiment would have been ruined. So that's what I am to you, huh? An experiment. No. And you know that. If I told the truth, you would have freaked out and walked away. And I couldn't deny you a chance to really get out of here. I just couldn't. I see you've grown quite fond of our broody guinea pig, haven't you, Nick? I have. And I meant everything I said to you before. So please, let's just forget this. Can you forgive me, Vincent? Understand why you did what I did? I forgive you. I don't need a liar for a friend. Oh, no, I I, I want to be a nice person. Uh, let's, so let's... I understand why you did what you did. So, so yeah. I forgive you. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. Promise. Looking forward to it. This is all very cute. But how about we go back to the matter at hand? Yeah, we'll figure it out later. We sure will. To be honest, Vincent, I'm not quite sure what to do with you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, yeah, what sure, is that supposed you found to mean? A spell and even did some good along the way. And yet it feels like there's something missing in this story. Maybe that I have zero motivation and lack personality. What's missing here is a good villain. The story is perfectly fine if you ask me. The story is perfectly fine if you ask me. Yeah. It might seem so at first glance, and yet... Oh, I know. What Why is it? I have a bad feeling about this. What's missing is a final test. One that will determine whether you truly are worthy of choosing your own fate. Ah, uh, please don't tell me it's going to be a <sighs> Bells and Bones I game. I finally have a break. Just a short one. At least five minutes would be nice. Please tell me there something will be else. There's time for that, I assure you. But first, you must do something for me. You What's see, that? this heart has a lock that cannot be opened, even with the most powerful magic, or it will stop beating forever. Forever. Open it, and I shall grant your wish, whatever it may be. And what if I fail and the heart stops? Then whatever land will be destroyed, and everyone will die. What? You're joking, right? <laughs> Who knows? So you'd better not mess it up, Vincent. Oh, great. Okay, lovely. This is not going to be... Uh... This is not, you know... Lovely. Twelve twenty-eight. Okay. Did we hit this? No. Oh wait. Okay, so we can pull these out and pull these back in. Okay. I don't know what these should be set to. Like they go to zero to a hundred. How do I how do I know what they should be set to? Like we have two people here, so that's like what two, and then I feel there must be a way to kind of gauge how we should set these. I don't see any screws. Let's see, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Maybe there's something hidden here. I mean I tried to smash this, but that didn't work. Smashing something else also doesn't seem to work. Can't do anything with these. Can't smash them. No, I can't like open them. No. Hmm. Okay, how do we know what this should be set as? I, I don't even know what they started as, so like I can't make them go back to the beginning because I have no idea. Okay, let's try and see if we can find some sort of clues. We've got two two pieces of gold, two pieces of bone, then we've got one of these. So wait, what? Like one, two? No, that's too, that's too easy, I think. Two, one. Yeah, no. That's not it. Sixty-nine... Trying to see if I can do anything here with just like clicking some things. I don't think so though. Doesn't seem like I can. 
Can't click any of these objects either. I mean, there's like etchings in here that say, you know, like two guys that are mashing on like a uh, anvil. Which made me think that maybe I had to, you know, mash here as well, but that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Heck, I really have no idea and I can't exit out of this, so I can't like go back and see if I need to find some clues. Like, I really have no idea. Maybe like make him go halfway. No. Let's see if we can, um, let's see. Whatever land walkthrough. I'm not sure if there's going to be a walkthrough of this game, but I'm kind of curious. Um, there is a video here of the entire walkthrough of the game. I think the game is almost over, judging by um, judging by this video. I think the game is almost over. All right, let me see. All right, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I'm just going through the video just to see what the puzzle is. I just want to get past this first. Oh wait, why why do they have to do a puzzle? And wait, it doesn't seem like I have to do a puzzle. Hmm. Seems like this person that I watched the video of didn't have that puzzle in the end. For some reason. I've got I found another video. Let's quickly check out that. Wait, I can't find out what people, uh, why I get the puzzle and others don't. Let's see, whatever land fi final heart puzzle. I'm trying to find like a, a walkthrough video, um, but it's uh, it's kind of difficult. There's not a lot of people that have full game walkthroughs, I guess. All right, there's another video here that might have some answers. Come on, please tell me that. Please tell me that this one has the puzzle in it. We are literally at like the end of the game. The only thing that I have to do is f fix this puzzle and I can't find out what I have to do with it. But like we're so close to the end of the game. Um, and I kind of hate it because All right, let's let's see if we can just find out something then. Zero, zero doesn't do anything. Hundred, a hundred. And like, you know, we've we've had before. Like, you know, we've had before with puzzles that they sort of seem to be broken. So, like, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow this puzzle was also broken. But I can't exit out of the puzzle. I can't save. I can't exit out of this puzzle. So, I feel like I need to do it. But I really honestly have no idea what I'm doing. If anyone in chat has any clues, any suggestions, any ideas. I'm all ears. I mean, the only thing that I can think of is... 
going through all the numbers and then just going like this, but like we don't even know if it would do if that would work. <laughs> I would love to help it out on this game. Maybe try two and four. Why two and four though? No. Maybe four and two then. No. What do we have? We've got three pieces that are beating. I thought four because the smaller image looks like it has four loops. Ah, oh, this one. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. 70, 98. Wait, try that. 70, 98. Oh my god, look at this. There's a seven here. This one says 70, 70, 98. And this one is 70. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I'm very happy that I actually saw that because I'm, I always love it when I fi figure out puzzles like this myself. Okay, good. We got we got some some place further. Okay. I am surprised though that like of the three videos that I saw of this game, no one had to do this particular puzzle, which I'm very surprised by. Okay, I don't know what this is. I think we can scratch this off. Maybe we can hit this thing. We cannot. Okay, so we have one little thingy. Okay, this starts spinning. That makes this go down. Then we have another one that we can put in here. That makes the baby go open. That makes something come out here. Oh, okay. Another layer. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Black light. Okay, this one is disappearing with the black light. The middle one. Okay, so it's something with the middle one, I think. Don't know if I should hit something or... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I think it says. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, same thing. And three seems to be, so this one seems to be like it's disabled. So this one needs to be repaired, I think, maybe. Okay, we got a flower. And yeah, what about one? Oh, okay, okay, so we got, we got another flower here. We got a wolf. A guitar. Okay, so wait, maybe we need to have a man. Flower and a baby, and then two. Man, a flower, and they make a baby? Something like that? I have no idea if I need to, like, set it at something, and then it will, if I, if it's right, then it will. The guitar. Do we, wait, do we need to bait? Oh yeah, five is set, so we can't change five. So we do have the man, the wolf, or nothing. This one does nothing. Rod, hey, how are you? Hello, hello, welcome on in. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. Oh my god, getting me the paw of approval, that is so sweet. That is so sweet, thank you. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing, Rod? Hopefully you're doing good. I'm good, I'm avoiding work during the last hour. 
You know what? I don't think I would be able to, uh... I would- I don't think I would be able to say something bad about that. <laughs> okay, so the second one only goes away with the black light, weirdly enough. I wonder if I should do something with that knowledge. Like this entire middle row seems to be vanishing, so maybe that needs to just be disabled? so weird what is this game so this game is called whatever land this is the i think the final puzzle of the game it's kind of like an old school point and click adventure it's actually kind it's been kind of a fun fun ride to be honest um but this is like the final puzzle of the game and i have no idea what i need to do like i don't think i can maybe do anything else here I mean, I have this black light for a reason, I guess. Oh, wait, look at that. Ah, wolf. Okay, wolf, knife, or, you know, like sword, baby. Okay, so we need to have the wolf at the top one. And we need to have a sword down here and then baby. I'm not sure if I should, if that means that we also need to have the woman with the sword. There we go. Oh. Oh, wow. She killed herself for the baby, I guess. Oh, we did it. I think we did it. Okay, what's next? What just happened? Yeah, what did just happen? This trick me? Wait a minute. Wait, are we back at the beginning? Not again. This is not the ending that I saw in other... other playthroughs of the game, which makes me very confused. Very confused. Is anyone there? Nick? Do I sound like Nick to you? Oh, no, you don't. No, I guess you don't. Maybe there's multiple endings. Yeah, so, maybe. Are you me? I don't know. What do you think? You sound like me. I'm hallucinating. You're my shadow self or whatever. You're my shadow self or whatever. Hmm. Why not? Maybe I'm your evil twin. How does that sound? Bad. Unlikely. True. We're both far from evil. Can I ask you something? I guess. Sure, no, I don't care. Sure. Why are we like that, Vincent? Like what? Are you going to charge me for a therapy session later? <laughs> Just answer the question. Wait, why are we like All what? Right. We're just not that good of a person. We're trying our best. I wish I knew. We're trying our best. I know. But it never feels enough, right? It never does, I guess. It's I don't know. It's true what Father used to say, you know. We are worth something. And we can change. How do you know? I'm trying. I really am. I'm trying. I really am. I think Mum would be proud of us. Oh, I can actually see his face you can't through here. Seriously, think that she would never be proud of whatever this is. We survived on our own. That's what matters. And okay. Done some bad things along the way. True, but maybe that's the best we could do at the time. Ever thought of that? No. Shut up. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. But let me remind you something first. 
You actually helped someone. Felt good, right? It's not much, but it's something. Yes, it is something. And maybe this is the ending you get when you don't of. use That's the it. nice and options for everyone. Proud of it too. Perhaps. Perhaps you're right. Don't forget about Nick. When was the last time we had an actual friend? Come on, I have friends. You know you can't fool me, right? I guess. And here I thought I was so good at it. This whole whateverland thing ended up being pretty cool, huh? You yeah, kinda. Yeah, I guess. I'm glad we had a chance to talk. Me too. Now go. She's waiting. She's waiting? Okay, wait, who though? The, uh... Oh, wait. Bye! And here's my way back. I hope. Yeah, I hope so too. I guess we're gonna find out. Let's just jump into the strange portal and see where it takes us. If anywhere. Incredible. I was almost sure you'd fail, and yet you managed to open it. You really are good at your job, darling. So what is it you wish from me? Wait, it's that simple? I wanted you to send me back to the real world? Actually, I like it here just fine. I want to stay in whatever land. I want you to send me back to the real world. An unexpected choice. Was the dream not as sweet as you thought it would be? You alone know the answer. I shall do as you ask. What about you, my dear friend? Do you wish to leave whatever land forever, now that you've fulfilled your part of our little arrangement? From now on, where Vincent goes, I follow. It's as simple as that. Are you huh. trying to make me cry? Because it's not working. Yeah. I mean, his sure. makeup already, you know, ran anyway, so. Her. It's settled then. And Vincent, before yes. we part oh. ways, I want you to remember something. You What's might that? think that the journey has ended, but it's only just begun. So it's only vigilant, just begun. Thank you, Beatrice. Until we meet again, Vincent. Oh, Until we meet again. Poor Harold up. I might have a job for him. And just like that, Vincent's oh, that's it? journey has come to an end. We did Whatever it. Whatever land stayed the same. And yet, some people's existence was changed after all. Van continued to suffer from the heat as well as his own incurable laziness. Except now, there's no one left to look after him. For Zachary is still trying to win his money back at the casino. Alas, unsuccessfully. And Pipsqueak still watches the stars, waiting for his old friend to one day return. The twins never learned of each other's true feelings. And the relationship between them grew increasingly worse by the day. It seems old Jeeves has lost all hope to ever see them united again. <laughs> Umaru-san had finally satisfied her age-old hunger and was now a little less unbearable than before. Clearly, she's making progress. With Clearly. the radio working again, Ellen's zest for life has been reignited. You can now hear her voice wherever you go in the city. Equally delightful and annoying as it is. Louis and Fida gave in to their feelings. And now they are learning to speak each other's language. Although the universal language of love seems to be more than enough for them. With his memories back, Francois could finally embrace Francois. his past and face the future. He returned to the band and now plays with them every night at the jazz club. Looks like he even has fans. Now that Ernest's plan had failed miserably and he was turned into a helpless skull, his influence in town had greatly decreased. Some Waterlanders are still afraid of his gang. But most merely laugh as they look at him now. Well, every dictatorship is bound to fall. You can trust me on that one. Oh, and Harold's dream did come true after all. He became Beatrice's assistant. Though it's not clear what the witch needed him for. Maybe she just wanted to make him a little happier. One little. can never know with her. I, I never couldn't know. even imagine the real world had changed so much while I was gone. Oh, wait, they one, went to New York City? The tomorrow sun would turn out to be the most stylish of us all. In that mask of hers. Fortunately, Vincent agreed to help me readjust, so that's good. Hey, we did it! I think. Well, I guess that's it, chat. I got you right at the end. Yeah! Well, I think that was it. I think we, we, we did it.
I did say it. Yeah. I'm actually happy about that because um, when I started this game, I had no idea that it was going to be fun. I, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a fun game, but I'm very happy that we actually uh, finished it. It wasn't a very long game. I think we uh, I'm going to look at my Steam stats in a little bit, but I think we did it in like maybe four or five hours, something like that. It's not a super long game. I definitely cheated a little bit by um, skipping all of the um, Bells and Bones games because I just still don't know, and I still have no idea what I need to do in that game. So uh, maybe I cheated like a little tiny bit, but yeah, other than that, I think we did all the puzzles ourselves. So yeah, little backers. So these are all Kickstarter backers doing uh, that, that back the game. I'm not in there because I didn't back this game. Guest? Wait, even guests? Interesting. There we go. Well, that was definitely a fun game. If you like old school point and click games, um, I can highly recommend this one. Like if you are into old school point and click games and you like puzzle games, then I can highly recommend this one because it was really, uh, I love the art style of it. The art style was definitely very interesting and fun. Um, so yeah, I really, I really actually enjoyed playing it. So um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go and let's see what time is it. It's 11.39. Um, it's 11.39. What do we want to do? Because I didn't expect us to be finished with the game. I mean, we played it in 6.3 hours. So take into account like maybe a couple of pauses here and there. So let's say six hours, six hours, something like that. Um, I wonder what if it's on how long to beat. Let's see what. Let's see, whatever land. Five hours? Okay, so we did it in six. So yeah. Um, I am going to record my, uh, let's see, submit my time. Platform PC, first playthrough, yes. Submission time includes DLC, that's not true. Main story, six hours. Let's just leave it at six. Um, submit. All right, cool. Mm, 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 mm. Did you enjoy it? I think I yeah, I think I think I definitely did enjoy it. Um, it was definitely a uh, interesting game. I have to say I, I did get a key from the developer, so I like I didn't pay for the game myself. Uh, but no, it was definitely an interesting and enjoyable um, um, experience for sure. I have no idea what this game costs, though. Um, let's check. Like, how expensive it is. I think it, it's currently $19.99. Which, 20 bucks? I don't know, might be... I might find that slightly too much. 20 bucks? 20 euros. I have no idea what it is in, in dollars, but like 20 euros. <laughs> Don't think I would be very happy if I would pay if I paid 20 bucks for this game. Like I would more say it would be like 10 to 12, maybe something like that. But yeah, no. Awesome experience. Definitely an awesome experience. Um for now though. For now though. Um I don't want to end the stream just yet. I don't want to keep it going for like too much longer, but I don't want to end it just yet. Um, so I'm trying to think what we can do now, what game we can play for now, um, that we can just play for a little bit. We might play some Dead by Daylight for like a little bit. I don't feel like playing Fortnite because I played some Fortnite earlier th today already and it didn't work. Like I had some, cra the game keep, kept crashing on me, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, let's, let's check my Steam real quick. We need to keep streaming, Jordy. Too many of my friends couldn't stream because of Twitch issues. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I was actually having some issues myself, but I I tried a couple of times just trying to go live and then it kept working. How is the how are things now? Everything is operational again, so I think they fixed the issue, I guess, maybe? A fix has been implemented and we are monitoring the results, so I think it should be working now. But yeah, no, I totally get what you mean. I totally get what you mean. Um all right, let me check my Steam, what we can play. We can play some DVD, maybe, just... I don't feel like doing, like, a story-driven game. I don't feel like playing Fortnite. 
Um, yeah, I'm doing a thing. What is what is what is a thing? What is or what is the th thing? Um, I guess we can do that. I, I do want to take a quick break though. Then if we're gonna do that, uh, so I can take like a super quick break. I, like I said, we might play for like maybe 45-ish minutes, something like that. Um, so yeah. I was bored, so I randomly decided if I had blue a metal part I found the other day on the stove. Turns out I can. Wait, blue a metal part? Like, as in make it blue? Don't you need, like, some kind of uh, special stuff for that? Because I, I did see a video the other day on someone that made a piece of, like, like a necklace. They made it purple, which looks super cool, but they needed they had, like, a special device that put, like, you know, electricity through the metal. And then they had, like, a special liquid as well that they put it in and then as the electricity went through it the liquid you know reacted with it or some something and then it turned purple which i thought was really very interesting and super cool um my necklace actually has that as well i i'm not wearing it today but like my necklace also has the same thing with it has like you know a little bit of a rainbow effect on it which i think they also did on a similar way with like electricity and some kind of liquid i don't know what kind but like some kind of liquid um anyway um I'm going to take another quick break and then I'm, we're going to play some killer games in DBD, I think. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's the plan. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. That's the plan. <laughs> Bluing is making metal parts rust tree steel. What you are describing is bluing as well. Okay. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not completely wrong there. <laughs> uh, anyway, chat, I'm going to take a quick break. You guys play some Plinko in the meantime while I'm gone. Uh, exclamation mark Plinko followed by your favorite um, emotes uh, there. And um, yeah, then I'll be back in a couple of minutes and we're going to play a, a little bit longer. And then we're going to end the stream uh, like, you know, maybe in um, one and a half hours or in, in like, you know, 45 minutes, an hour, maybe something like that. All right. Okay. Sounds good. See you guys in a little bit.
Hello. Hello? Oh, there we go. I had to turn up my uh, headphones a little bit higher to actually uh, hear myself. All right. Um, see, dee, 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 dee. Let's see. Let's switch. There we go. Fish are friends, no food. They should do be friends indeed. Um, all right. Let's hope we get some good games because I don't necessarily feel like uh, bad games. So let's hope we got some good games going. But I guess we'll see. Hey, right, look at that. First place for you. Where am I? Fifth place. And this is the top list for this month. Guess no more, no other games anymore. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Now I don't think there will be another Plinko game. So I think that's the uh, that's the list. So that's you, first place, Taco, second place, Vili, third place, Pub Caustic, fourth place, me in fifth, Ustathios in sixth, uh, Spenny in seventh, Miles in eighth, Rosie in ninth, and Peter in tenth place. Congratulations to all the winners. Fight first place. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Also, like I said, I definitely feel that like we're not gonna stream for too long tonight because I really noticed that like my mood is really affected still um and I also noticed that it, it you know affects my energy levels a little bit today so um I didn't want to end the stream just yet because I felt that you know 11 30 was slightly too early but let's play a couple of games of this and then we'll um and then we'll see uh what time it is and how I feel and I really am sorry as well like I want to apologize if I don't seem like you know, my usual self, but, you know, as I explained, that was, uh, I feel some good reasons for that as well, but I, I still hate it. So I, I still want to say, you know, I still want to apologize for that. T -d -d -d. Okay, don't worry about it. No need to apologize. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess. Oh, did something happen? You're allowed to feel however you feel on any day. Totally no apology necessary. Yeah, like, very long story short. Um, last week I had a job interview and they, lit they literally asked me, can you start next week? And then this week they sent me an email saying that they uh, still decided to uh, not continue forward with it. Um, so they sent that email today. So I got that email today. So... That's why I'm a little bit, um, um, yeah, down today. <laughs> like I was expecting to finally uh, have something again, and then it was like, yeah, no, you know what? Never mind. So yeah, that kind of uh, bummed me out. Um, all right. But I still wanted to stream, like I was doubting if I wanted to stream today or not, but I still wanted to do it because I figured, you know, maybe this distraction would be good, which it definitely was. I, I definitely have to say that it was good to be, uh, to have someone of distractions. Um, so yeah. This is part of why I hate job hunting. It feels like dating. Rejection is painful. I'm waiting to hear back is scary. And you get all your hopes up and stuff. Feeling down feel, makes perfect sense. Yeah, like I wouldn't have felt down if it was just like, you know, if I just applied and I just got a rejection, then of course it would also suck. But now it was, they already sort of implied very heavily that they wanted to give me the job. Like they even gave me like a tour of the building and, and I met like some people that work there. So they very heavily implied that they wanted to, you know, move forward with this. 
And then all of a sudden, kind of very out of the blue, I got this email today saying that um, they were like, yeah, no, you know what, we're not going to do it anyway. So, yeah. More fun job will come soon. I hope so. I hope so. I, I, uh, I'm not going to lie. At this moment, I'm kind of losing a little bit of faith, but... Well, let's hope that it's just a temporary thing. And again, I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer or anything. Like, I know some people have probably way worse issues with, like, finding jobs and stuff like that. But, yeah, it just sucks. There was, there was a job I once applied for. It took five interviews, which took a month to do. And then three weeks of waiting. And then eventually the email came saying they didn't want me. So I totally get that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like five interviews. That's really, like, a lot. Which, indeed, I totally get it if you would also feel like, okay, well, you know, next interview, you know, next interview. They they probably are very serious. And then they're like, yeah, you know what? Let, yeah, let's not do it. And so I totally feel, uh, yeah. I totally get that that also probably, probably sucks. 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 That probably also sucks. <laughs> sucks is what I meant. Much hugs. Thank you. It's a good time for searching your job. I think a lot of people are needed in the moment. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess so. As long as companies are not going to be, you know, ridiculous with their demands for experience, then, you know. I met the whole team also toward the office. Yeah. Like, I feel they wouldn't do that. They shouldn't, they wouldn't or shouldn't do that if they weren't, like, serious about giving you the job, you know. They're like, you know, then they get your hopes up and then it's like, yeah, you know what, never mind. At the end of the day, we always want you. Ah. You guys are way too sweet. You guys are way too sweet. Like, I always feel bad when I talk. Oh, hello. I always feel bad when I talk about, like, stuff like this because... I always feel that I should be, you know, the happy-go-lucky streamer that is always happy and nothing ever... Nothing bad or sad ever happens but at the end of the day you know we're all human you know streamers are also humans and you know sometimes bad things or annoying things happen to us as well and i don't want to turn this into like a pity party or something like that because that's like the last thing that i would want but yeah Minty is super sweet. Minty is super sweet. You guys are all super sweet. Rod, you are also very sweet. I hope you know that. You are a heckin' sweetie. Ah, oh, come on. Stupid. Darn perk again. Mm, crap. Um, all right. If I'm being honest, your openness about your feelings and your willingness to be vulnerable on stream are parts of why I really like you and stick around. Really? Wow. That That is, um... That is actually very sweet of you to say. Because I really struggled with, like, last week, I really struggled with, um... Not talking about it. Like, I, I mentioned this before, that I did specifically didn't really talk about this last week because I was like I don't want to I don't want to like get my hopes up I don't want to like be overly happy about something that might not be so I specifically I, I didn't tell like anyone like none, none of my friends except for like two close friends knew I'm focusing way too long on her by the way there we go but I appreciate you saying that There we go. Finally. I always I always spend so much time trying to go for someone, which I know I shouldn't. I shouldn't spend as much time as I do going after someone. Then I do it anyway. Wait, they're all here. Come, come here, come here. Yeah, I made a mistake. That was my bad. Um. So even uh, you talking about things to make you feel down doesn't push me away. 
That's really good to know, and that's actually very sweet of you guys to say. I really appreciate that. I think she's still closed, but I also think someone is upstairs here. Yeah, there she is. Hello! With your dawn perk. Might be the bestest puppy I know, but you're also human, lovey. Nothing you could do get me to leave. You guys need to stop being so sweet. You guys need to stop being so sweet. Maybe it's the puppy in you that makes you focus and chase one person. Honestly, yeah, it might totally be. <laughs> yeah, it might totally be. I don't know. Heck, you guys are honestly really sweet, though. And I, I, I can appreciate it. Um, see, and I hate to say this due to the timing because I unfortunately do have to go for now because I get ready, ready for stream. No worries. Love you so much, hacking bunchies. And you're more than free to poke me whenever you might want to want some minty snuggles. That is so sweet, Minty. I can appreciate you. That and you. You are an absolute sweetheart. Thanks for stopping by. You have a good time on stream. And 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 also no you. No you. <laughs> okay. Wait, you got him off already? Hello! Oh, there's three of them here. Let's see, where's the last one? Come on, come on, come on. Nice, I downed them. Perfect. Also, remember to not take the game too seriously. It's easy to do when you feel a bit off. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you for that advice, and I'm going to do my best. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. But you are very right that I can tend to do that sometimes. Um, hey, cigar paint bucket. Wait, what is that? Or who, who is that? Wait, did I miss someone coming in? To come in the background, you dodged the bullet with that company saying that this is the way they treat people. Yeah, more people said that. I mean, I don't want to be, uh... I don't want to be like, you know, like, like... Feeling that per se, but uh, yeah, so multiple people have said that. To me, so, yeah, perhaps. See you later, have a lovely rest of the stream and evening. Minty, you too, you are absolute sweetheart, I love you. Thank you for being here, thank you for being such a sweet puppy. Come on, why does everyone have that perk? Jeez, I hate it. I'm not sure how I feel this game is going so far. Like, I mean, they only did one gen so far. I hooked a couple of them already. I don't think anyone is on that death hook just yet. I'm not sure how I, how I feel about this game so far. Like, I don't think it's going bad, but it's also not going great, I think. Okay, second hook for her. Uh, you being you is why I joined this community in the first place. Yeah, I mean, I guess my openness, like, obviously, you know, I'm not always open about, like, 100% of the things that happen in my life. Because I do have, you know, like, a private life as well, and I do keep things to myself as well. Which I guess is completely normal, like, you know, obviously I don't feel that I have to share like, you know, 100% of the things that happen to me or th that I get up to or that I do or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, I do try to be pretty, uh, you know, I, I do try to share like, you know, a lot of things that I get up to and that I do and um, yeah, I don't know. 
I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm like a massive open book, but... I do try to be... Somewhat open, at least, about things. Same, I mean, that's that's also the, the same reason why I did the... Um, why I'm so always like to do the, uh, you know, like Twitch Leather Pride stream so much is because I like to share stuff like that. A kingster with a private life? Who has ever heard of such a concept? <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. <laughs> I might not even have told you guys all the things that I might be into. <gasps> Like, there might be more things that I'm going to <laughs> Who would have thought, right? Like, that is just unimaginable. That shouldn't be allowed. I know, right? Like, I, I know, but but yet here, here we are. Here we are. I should know it all. <laughs> maybe if you ask nicely, maybe. No, no guarantees, though. <laughs> I'm, I, I always want to say, like, if you ask things, then I might, I'm going to say honestly if I like them or not. But I, I know you guys are going to be like, do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? And I'm like, yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Wait, there's someone here. Oh, yeah. Why? Why did? Why? 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 Why did that not work? I think this is going to be her death hook. Do I want to hook her here? Not really, but I don't think I have a lot of other choices. So let's just do it. Bye. Alright, that's one kill. I do have to say, though, that me being... Um, me being pretty, like, you know, open, open about myself. Sometimes it's also, like, a negative thing because... Sometimes I, I say things before I think about them, which isn't always like the bestest idea. I mean, not necessarily that I like say things that I don't want to say, but more like I say something and then I'm like, oh, wait, wait, maybe I shouldn't have said that, you know? I need days to flesh out a thought. Oh, another kill. Nice. Second down. I didn't know you could actually land on that thing. That's funny. Okay, I don't think any of them have uh, no mither, so... I just hope that I can find... Oh, there's one. I was going to say, I hope I can, ju can just find another hook that I can uh, hook him on. All right, four kills. There we go. Noise. Let's get some extra points. Let's destroy this door. Ah, oh, we can't get more destruction points. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. All right, that was a good first match, not gonna lie. That was a good first match. Normally first matches are not really the greatest, but this one was actually surprisingly okay. Two pips. All right, moving on. But yeah, the stupid thing is that sometimes I actually feel bad that I don't, that I, when I don't tell things. Like I said, it's not necessarily something that I like keep secrets or anything, but obviously, you know, there's, you know, I, I, like I said, I have a private life, which is, you know, completely normal. Every streamer should have 
a private life that they don't necessarily talk about on stream, right? But sometimes I feel really bad when I like, I'm like, oh, I need to tell everyone this. <laughs> Which, you know, is obviously not necessarily true, but it just sort of feels like that. Oh, we got one flashlight. Okay, one flashlight. I'm definitely going to keep Lightborn, though, because I really, uh... Ever since starting to use that perk, it has, it has already done so much for me, so I'm definitely going to keep that. Someone left. I always wonder, like, this Meg has, like, all these symbols for her username, I guess. I always wonder what that is. Like, are they, like, emoji or what's what's the deal with them? Ooh, we got a flashlight and a toolbox. Not a huge fan of the toolboxes either. Like, I hate flashlights, but... I hope it's more than 4k. <laughs> well, we can only get four kills, so we can't we can't do any more than that. Unfortunately. Alright, all of them are ready, so let's ready up myself as well. Let's get into the game. I kind of hate that we got a blue screen earlier tonight, but I try not to, uh, like, blue screens happen. And let's, I'm not trying not to look into it too much. Because, like I said, we haven't had one in weeks. So the fact that we got, like, one randomly now doesn't necessarily mean that there is, again, something wrong with my memory or motherboard or whatever. I'm trying not to read too much into it. My PC crashed randomly 10 minutes ago. Also to like a blue screen. Yeah, like sometimes they just happen. I think it was at the exact time that I pressed a button on my stream deck as well. Like I pressed that button to cheer, like to like a sound effect. And I think then that's when it happened. So again, that might be very random indeed like i was just pressing something and maybe that was just the wrong thing at the wrong time i guess maybe i don't know yeah like i said i'm trying to not look read too much into it hello oh wait is that a no mither it is a no mither okay so i'm not gonna leave him on the ground that much i know he's not gonna be left on the ground that's for sure okay and i see that he also has that icon so I wasn't sure if he would, but I see that he does, so... I don't think I've ever played against a player with no mither, though. I've played with them. I've never played against them. So that's gonna be interesting. Why is this map such a massive maze? Oh, hello! <laughs> Crap, it still hit me. Didn't think it would. Keyboard illumination turned off and I couldn't even restart it by pressing the power button. I had to turn off the power with the button on the power supply. Oh wow, that's that's pretty bad. Yeah, like those things sometimes they just sort of happen. Oh come on, I hit him. I hit him.
was a first for me. I don't think I've ever had it happen where... Like, I, I have had it happen that it froze up on me. Uh, but I don't think I've ever had it happen where it even, like, holding a power button didn't do anything. Like, usually that does do the trick. That's interesting. Yeah, exactly. That's, like, usually the power button is something that always works. See if they are working on that generator here. They are. Let you go. Oh, there she is. I want to get that, uh, what is that, David? I want to get the David again. The no the David. Dicks! Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, nice flashlight. Where should you get it? Nice flashlight. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny when they try to use the flashlight and it doesn't work. It does nothing. It's so funny. Mm, come on, I do that all the time. I hate it. Okay, I'm trying to make her think that her flashlight actually does work. While looking, looking away, even though, you know, I don't have to. I just try to make her think that... Waiting with the flashlight, right? Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Weird thing was that my keyboard turned off, lights out, etc. But the power button on my case was still illuminated. Uh, and the stream deck had power too. It might be a little bit weird, yeah, I don't know. Finally, geez, that was a long chase, but we got it. We got it. Hey, hey. Is the map the police station from Resident Evil 2? OMG, yeah, it is, and it's the, literally the worst map in the game. It's honestly, without a doubt, the worst map in the game. I mean, they did make some changes to it, but the way that it used to be before the changes they made a couple of weeks ago, it literally was like they took the map from the game and then they put it in this game. Or they took the map from Resident Evil and then they put it in this game. They made no changes to it whatsoever. Um, so like, you know, there were like lots of corridors and stuff that just didn't work. Which was, you know, which of course, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a map made for this game, obviously. So like... It just did. It just didn't didn't work. They made some changes, and they definitely made it better. But better still doesn't mean good. Like they made it better, but still not good. I mean, where's that no mitha David? I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Oh, we're not actually good. And my nerd self is sad. <laughs> And like, it's a cool map, don't get me wrong, it's a cool map. But it's just not made for this game. There's way too many, like, corridors and stuff like that. Which just doesn't, you know, it just makes it not work. 
But they broke out like, you know, like over here, they, they broke out like a wall and stuff like that. So they definitely made some changes to it to make it better. But still not perfect. Second hook for him as well. I definitely want to kill him. I, I really want to kill David. Just because he's using no mither. which hook this is for her might be seconds might be third i think second probably yeah seconds let's go after him again come here you know me the david don't think there's any palace oh crap there is Thought there weren't, gonna, there weren't gonna be any pallets anymore, but they are. <laughs> Got him. I just don't know if there's a hook nearby, which is kind of annoying. Might have been one on the other side of the hallway here. Oh wait, there's one. Perfect, there's one. Bye. Alright, good. Whatever happens next in this in this game, I'm I'm okay with that. I just wanted to have him. I just wanted to uh, I just wanted him to uh, to go. <laughs> hmm. Were you tunneling him? No, I don't feel that I was. Maybe a teeny tiny bit. Maybe a teeny tiny bit. But I wasn't dropping anyone else just to go after him. He was just the first one that I saw. That was going to be a hit. And yet here we are. Alright, this is going to be tricky though. I don't think... Can I hook her in time? Maybe if there's an exit here, which there is. Perfect. Okay, good. Oh, she's dead as well. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to be her last hook. Okay, two kills. Didn't realize that. I thought she had one more. But apparently not. Are they working on this one? They were working on this one. That much I know. <laughs> Cut them down, lol. The basement is not there. I wonder where the basement is. Where's the other gens? We have one here in the main hallway. Which they're not working on right now. Then we got two on that side over there. So let's go to those. One here, which they're not working on. Then I think the one downstairs here outside, maybe? Let's see, how do I get there? 
Here it is. They're also not working on that one. Okay, so we've got two that are relatively close to the main hall and then one upstairs. I think they're going to try and focus on the one in the main hallway. This one. They certainly are. Nice hiding. Nice trying to nice trying to hide. Okay, that's one hit. Almost didn't see her there. Not gonna lie, I almost didn't notice she was there. That was actually a pretty good hiding hiding place. See, going through the library. All right, got her. I think first hook for her. I guess, not sure, might be second. Might be second. Definitely not third, I think. Yeah, first one, there we go. Oh, hi. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good hiding place. I almost didn't see that. That was a good hiding place. Like, I genuinely almost didn't see that. Ah. Crap, missed. All right, I guess it's going to be another four kill game. Yep. He's going to second stage. And she's going to be hooked here now as well. Bye. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, almost done with my challenge. Good boy. Am I a good boy? Clearly I am. Are they saying something? Did he have no mither? Self-care, no mither, yeah. Wait, why does he have self-care and no mither? That doesn't make any sense, I guess. Dead hard. Empathy. I don't know if those two work together, because I think with no mither, you... With no mither, you can't heal yourself, so why would you take self-care? Uh, Alright, let's do... What time is it? Let's do one more game. Only 167 times? Yeah. Can definitely be more. Should definitely be more than that.
my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Ice Pagoda just gifted 10 subs. OMG, such deliciousness, purple heart.
the stream all. Don't forget to use the raid message, and Discord etc. will be in chat laughing face.